What's up, Dalekers? What up, people? Really, right out the gate with the boomer, BJ Honeycutt? What, what the fuck? What, 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 what is this? How could I have boomered it already? Be nice to me. It's Monday. It's a crazy week. What up, people? How are we doing? Collective Souls. It's time for another Collective Souls. Cranberry juice fanatic. This is real. Yeah, this is fucking real. This is a no death run. Yep. Uh, I started it yesterday. It's offline. I cannot accept help from anyone. I was feeling kind of guilty that I was being carried. So uh, this is legit. Um, how are you guys? What's going on? Oi, brubs. Uh, you know Death Bloodborne already? No, I got obliterated in Bloodborne. I suck at Bloodborne. And I was like, fuck this. I'm, I'm doing it. How was Buckerson and Myers last night? It was good, dude. We taped a new episode. Uh, I'm in the process of editing it now. I actually woke up at 2 in the morning and just was like, I can't go to sleep. So I just started editing it. Uh, I think it's going to be good. Gore Forest, what up? I like that name, Gore Forest. How you doing, dude? Punisher, happy Monday. St. Mark's, what's up, dude? I'm glad you guys are here. Hellacious Fellatio. <laughs> Hellacious Fellatio is fucking great. Holy shit. Uh, what program do you use to edit? I am so I'm I'm using what here's a, what's the most boomer program I could use to edit. And by the way, I used to be a professional editor. Okay, so I'm I, I know how to use other shit. But like, I'm so embarrassed to say that I edit with fucking uh, iMovie because it's just all I have on my Mac. iMovie, dude, it's ridiculous. It's garbage. It's trash. I just don't want to buy. I don't want to buy anything. And it's like, it's not a very hard thing to edit. Um, I don't need any fancy tricks, so I'm just like, I just fucking do it. Um, when I get a new computer, one day I'll get a real software program. But uh, I'm fucking boomering it right now. Don't make fun of me, guys. Do you have a job, Zach? I get asked that all the time. Yes, I do. But it's not, it's not like a normal 9 to 5 job. It's a job that I work from home. I work with writers. I produce a doc series. I, I, I do like, you know, stuff that I can kind of determine my own hours. What up, Twerk and Maggle? Um, no shame in iMovie? Thank you, Sugar Dragon. I was expecting to get obliterated for this, but I appreciate it. Okay, let me start. Let's get on the faith, right? Hang on. I think I need 14, right? So let's, let's get that going. Uh, the licenses are too expensive. I agree, dude. I have free software on my computer. It's not very good, but it gets the job done, so I don't get the fuck. I don't care. Um... Go fuck yourselves. I love to see it. Go fuck yourselves, doll lickers. Uh, just watching yesterday's stream of, of this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I had a great stream yesterday. There were like 400 people the whole time. Sundays, dude. It's pretty awesome. And I did well. I did die, but then I, I, I'm back, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not dying now, I hope. All right, there's nothing else to do. Okay, so what do I got here? Let me, let me take a look over my... My current situation. Do I have anything? Okay, two is not going to do me. I do think I can buy the key, which will get me down, get me more Titanite, and meet the Miracle Lady. So that, that's got to happen. Hype train already? Jesus Christ, people. I'm not complaining. That's fucking awesome. Okay, I need this thing. Oh, what's this? Heal aid? Okay, I'm going to wait on that. Oh, I need this Let's not forget that. And then I think I'm gonna probably buy resin. And I think I'll be good. What's the level five challenge today? I don't know. Let's 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 decide one. Who do I call? I think I should call Timmy. I feel like it's that would be a good move. Oh, I got a good level five. So last night we recorded the new Buckerson and Myers. It took two and a half hours. I'm the one who who I hit record on the Zoom, right? So I eat an onion, go fuck yourself. Um, so I hit record on the Zoom. I record the whole call, and then I edit it, and I, and I upload it. And it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of coordination. It's a lot of energy for Timmy to prepare. How about if we hit the level 5 hype train, I'll call Timmy, and I'll be like, dude, it didn't record. I don't have the file. We have to do it again, and we have to do it again. Like, like we have to do it before 5 p.m., and he'll, he'll be so pissed. Uh, yeah, I accidentally deleted it, or I just didn't record it. I, I, I just didn't. It just didn't record. Biscuit, what's up, Biscuit boys? I see you, man. I'm glad you're here. I actually think that would drive him kind of crazy. He, I think he would be like, "Are you serious? 
Are you kidding? So I'm only going to do it if we hit level 5, 500%. That's the rule. But I, 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 I predict we'll get a good reaction out of Timmy if I do that. Uh, or no audio. Ooh, that's more believable and just as lethal. What if he was like, I actually recorded it too, just in case? He, he won't be. And I'll say, and Sam also um, recorded it last night as a backup. But I'll say, dude, Sam has the same issue. We both recorded it. We both have no audio. We're freaking out. So that's it. Level three, I'll do it if we hit level five at 500%. Um, yeah. Anyway. Oh, we're already at level four. Okay. I predict you're about to hit five. Well, I predict you might be right. I'm actually really hoping because I think this is going to be a crazy one. Obviously, I'm going to tell him before I hang up the phone that I'm, I'm fucking with him because otherwise I'll send him off on like a two-hour stress spiral and I don't want to do that. But I think we will get a good, a good reaction. And I think I have an undead bone shard that I can burn. All right. Uh, just bite an onion, but don't eat it. Yeah, I don't bite onions, guys. That's not, that's not this show. That's a Zucchini Boys thing. You know what I mean? Um... Two hour stress spiral. Timmy sounds like my spirit animal, right? Level four, 74%. We're almost to level five. Uh, what is, why does Timmy live in South Dakota? There's nothing there. Dude, that's a great question that we've all asked a whole bunch. Um, does he look like the type of person that bites onions? Thank you, Ranjani. You get it. Uh, Timmy lives in South Dakota because that's where he was born and raised. And um, I think it's probably not... Not the worst place to raise a kid. I don't know. I've never, I've never spent time in Watertown, South Dakota. All right, dilapidated bridge. Here we go. Only sub chat. I don't know. You know, what? I don't know if if sub chat is is a good or bad thing. I'll, I'll let the mods decide that if that's a, if they have that power. I don't know. Same reason I'm in in, in uh, Montana, mostly because it's beautiful and cheap as fuck. I can't argue with that. I mean, in 2020, anyone who's living in a beautiful place is like, you kind of win. Like, shame on me for paying out the ass to live in a city where I have a neighbor 10 feet this way. It's like, it's certainly, I can't go to restaurants. I can't, you know, I can't take meetings. Like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? I'd way rather live in like Wyoming or Montana or someplace amazing for less money. Joke's on me. In the first D&D &D episode, why were you in the laundry room? I'm actually in the same room. I've just moved my uh, station to the opposite wall. So it's better for me this way. So I'm still in the laundry room. It's my garage, really. I just have a washer and dryer in here. Um, but what a great question. What a great question. God. Uh, in California, we do our laundry in the garage. Thank you, sweetie cakes. You get it. All right, hang on. Let me fucking kill these goddamn rats. Ooh. Fuck you, rats. You know I hate rats. Uh, weed stores and gun shops in the same shopping center. Is that a thing? Jesus. Any chance we're seeing Whitest Kids on the Gus and Eddie podcast? Guys, I've talked about the Gus and Eddie podcast. They invited us. I'm accepting. I can't get a hold of them. I tweeted at Gus. Or I didn't even tweet it. I sent him a message on Twitter. I don't know, dude. Ball's in his court. Yes, I would do it. I don't, I, I don't know how to make it happen. So if anyone has a line to him, tell him. Um, okay. What am I doing? Let's get it together here. Uh, in California, we have oceans. That's true. Although I live an hour from the ocean and I haven't seen it in months. So what is that, you know, what am I doing with my life? Uh, they haven't put out any content this week, so I wouldn't trip. Level 5 BB. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Do we reach 500? Oh, we're at level 5. We got to hit 500% though. That's the rule. I live a mile from the ocean. It's the best. Well, aren't you special? Don't you just feel like a prince? Fuck you, dude. Just kidding. We have lakes here, and they don't taste like salt. Also a good point. Well, I do kind of like salinated water. Like, ocean water, I think I actually... There's something about the smell of the ocean that is, like, so primordial, you know? It just, like, speaks to my lizard primordial. Is that the right word? It just talks to me, man. You feel like, yep, this is where I'm supposed to be. Ooh. See, that? that was a nice move. These guys are nothing. These guys mean nothing to me. Um, what do you think of Canada? I love it, and uh, I'm not going to lie. There's been a lot of talk about moving to Canada. I don't think I will, but like, let's say something horrible happens like in a month. Like, I like to entertain the fantasy that I would move to Canada. 
Vancouver, baby. I did a movie in Vancouver, so I lived there for a month. I was like, this place is like so clean and beautiful and kind of boring. I was like, I wasn't like loving it, but um, again, 2020, it's like, I'm not leaving my house anyway. May as well pay less money and live in a beautiful place. Let's do it. Level 567. I don't know if we're gonna make this hype train, dudes. And that's okay with me. I'm not, I'm not bummed about it, but I'm just saying, like, it's, not, it's not looking good. Canada is boring as fuck. I live there. Yeah, I, dude, I kind of agree with you, but like, I'd rather, right now, dude, living in the United States of America, boring sounds fucking wonderful. I'll take boring. I want to be bored. I'm tired of being terrified and stressed. Boring, cool. And I think maybe I'm being a little bit of a sensitive bitch. It's not so bad here. We actually, United States is fucking great. We have a lot of wonderful things. I, I, I really do love it. It's just like, sometimes I get overwhelmed and I, I think like, maybe it's time for a change. But I'm not, I'm not really gonna move to Canada. That's just like my self -serving. Hang on. Uh, do you guys agree with me? Am I being a fucking wussy baby for even thinking like that? Level five, one hundred percent. Do you like the movie Joe Dirt? I have not seen it. Push that train along, boys. It's pretty bad here. What's principal roles? Do you mean it's bad in America? Where do you live? You live in Canada. You live, I think you live in America. Uh, USA has a lot of good stuff, but there's a lot of room for improvement. That is my attitude. It's like, you know what? You can love this country and want it to do better. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. All uh, right. Rats. This is, a, this is a rat area that I hate. Remember in Dark Souls 2, there's that rat zone where they're just like rats keep coming out of the tunnels like this. And they, that's actually like a pretty shitty zone. This one's not as bad. Did I kill them all? Okay, I got the talisman, clutch. Gonna need it. Refresh chat. Um, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. 307, we are closing in, fellas. I'm in the same boat, living in the south. I want this country to be cool, but I'm surrounded by all the not cool shit about it. My heart goes out to you, dude. I Honestly, I, I grew up in Virginia, okay? So I, I, I do get it. Now, Arlington is not like the south, the south, where I grew up, but like, there's a reason I left. Whoever you are, touch me. Uh, do you still get any Miss March money? Uh, no. I think last year I probably made like a thousand dollars off of Miss March residuals, which is awesome. But I don't get like that doesn't like you know. It's not like oh yeah that Miss March money rolling in. Oh, that ain't the case. Oh, Any Hayes is gifting. We are at 441. Any Hayes. Thundermats87. Let me do some thank yous because I think we're about to hit this level 5 hype train. Any Hayes, thanks for the gifted. Um, cranberry Juice Fanak, thank you. You know, I'm looking at the wrong website to thank people. It's like moving too fast. We Are we there? We're not there yet. We're closing in. We're almost there. Recent events. Here we go. Um, Cripple Panda? Triple Panda, you're a fucking badass. Cranberry Juice, thank you, Annie Hayes. Thundermats87, Rangina, at it again, how gorgeous. Pork Sweats, Pork Sweats is going hard. Thank you very much. The Green Nasty Noodles, a great name for a great man. Blood Barracuda, gifting. Annie Hayes, Annie Hayes, Annie Hayes. Perkin Maggle, Fox Bones Mulder, love it. Taylor, good to see you again. Thanks for coming back. Hando Calrissian, the Green Nasty Noodles, you guys. This is, a, this is wonderful. Michael Plays Music sub. Thanks, buddy. Perkin Maggle, Smiter, Rongina, Blast12812. Blast12812. Okay. Craig Rowe, 123, Sharp Stick. Okay, now I'm ending yesterday. You guys, thank you very, very much. And did we do it? Did we make it? Hang on. I just, now I'm back to my thing. Sorry, Timmy. I think we made it. Bad Monday for Timmy. Did we make it? I, I, I can no longer see the hype train. I'm going to, 524, I trust you. Let's go. Oh boy, I really hope, I think he's, he, just when the phone rings during the day, he might be expecting a fuck with you thing, but like, let's, let's give it a shot anyway. I'm a man of my word. Let's try it out. Speaker.
Oh, he might not pick up. Por favor, deje su oh, mensaje. dude, he, I have two numbers for him. I called the wrong one. Let me call the right one. Phew. All right, here we go. Did you hit your hype train already? Uh, no, I wish that's what I was calling about. Um, we have a problem. And okay. I... I was looking over this morning the Zoom recording from yesterday, and there's no audio, and I called Sam, and he has the exact same issue. Oh, shit, are you serious? And we have to get it up tomorrow morning. Like, we got to do it again. The whole fucking, okay. the whole fucking so, thing. Shit, well, I, uh, I'm free tonight. You're free? Okay. When, yeah. When's the earliest you can do it? Well, I got to work till 5. I got to get home, so... Probably about five thirty or six my time, something like that, which would be oh god, three thirty or four your time. You're taking this very chill. I thought you were gonna be a little more stressed and upset about this. Let me tell you something. You know, I've been running my office for by myself for the last week, so I'm freaking bananas. And so anything that's not about work right now is fine. No, so. it's no, it's cool. I just I promised the hype train that you were gonna freak out and you didn't freak out. <laughs> Oh, man. You, you promised them last time too. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not you, you really got to work on your fucking freaking. Um, I used to be. Think about 15 years ago. Well, 15 years ago, I think you would have had a straight up meltdown right about now, You're right? right? Yeah. 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 All right. I know. I mean, I, I, well, because I've been the guys earlier today being like, "Hey, we should play again soon and like get another one on the books," you know? Well, I agree. Actually, actually, we, we really should because I can't do this like 24 hours to edit. It's not. It's too much. Yeah. Like yeah. if we had another one on Saturday, then you can have. You know, a week or two to edit it and yeah. just have a couple in the, yeah, that'd be good. In the hopper. All right. Well, um, so, we so we do have – yeah, it worked. It worked. I thought <laughs> right. I thought I was going to give him a, a moment of drama, right, but you're too we'll level-headed. Get to, we'll, we'll get there. All right, buddy. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Yes, yes. Bye. Peace. I tried, guys. I, I tried. And I even I even did a good job where he thought it was the hype train right out the gate, and I think I successfully convinced him it wasn't. He just didn't give a shit. Um, so, all right. <laughs> yeah, long and wild man. Yeah, he's like, <sighs> okay, well, here we go. It almost worked. It almost worked. You think he knew all along, Andy Mac? I think he did. I think he did. Um, yeah, I, yeah. That's the thing. Timmy's mellowed out. I tell you this: if this was two thousand and eight, that conversation would have gone very, very different. Mm. He would have not <laughs> been uh, chill. Oh. All right. I don't really need to talk to this guy, right? He, he can, like, help me fight a boss. Which, by the way, I will summon NPCs to help me with certain boss fights. I don't think that's against the rules. This is an offline game. Am I right about that, by the way? Let me make sure this is offline. Play offline. Good. Um, okay, what am I doing? Does this go up or down? It goes up. Uh, yeah. Timmy sells insurance now, right? Yes. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And he's goddamn great at it. Maybe. I have no idea. Zucchini diet. Zach's calling must be hype train. Exactly, dude. I know. We've worn it out. We need to start, like, I don't know how to fix how to fix this. But we'll figure it out. Uh, okay, so this since this is no death run, I have to take absolutely every single person I fight seriously. So let me just think about that um and that means i need to like this guy okay also what what armor is best for this guy yeah that's fine okay all right um fox bones molder yeah give him credit you got it we need more darren i could i could i got a good one in on darren yesterday i fucking nailed darren yesterday so come on Arswani, you get it. This dude is no joke. Are you going no death and offline this time? Yes, I am. This is offline, no death run. Voice change is a great idea. So I would call Darren from like a... Oh, that is a good idea. I could block my number, change my voice. I don't know how to change my voice, but that's a good idea. All right, hang on. Let's fucking do this. I'm a little nervous about this guy, but I think I'll win. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, yeah, already off to a bad start. It's okay. Okay, come on, Zach. I just have to, like, not rush. 
Okay, got him. Ooh, frostbitten is bad. Woo! Fuck you, dude. All right, got it. Um, refresh. Okay, that could have gone worse. That could have gone way worse. Oh, I gotta go. What am I doing, Zach? I gotta go buy the denial. Denial is the most important. So I need to add an attunement slot. That has to happen, and then I need denial, and that that's necessary. Okay, so. I don't think I have, how many souls do I need for a level up? 42, so I probably need to level up three more, so let me get up to like 13,000 souls. And then I will go back and do some leveling. All right, good shit. Uh, hell yeah, Ron Giner. So I rewatched the self-suck per your suggestion. Would I be correct in assuming the barrier to the fight story is Sam? It is just us collective souls boys here. You can tell, I cannot tell. I cannot tell with my mouth. Um, and I will not discuss it further. Yeah, yeah. I would like to. But I won't. What else? New subject. Could you call Darren and pretend to be Timmy? <laughs> no, he'll never buy that. Um, why did Sam not want to talk about the sketch he's most known for? I'll let Sam answer that question. Um, and I bet I bet you could guess. What else? Other things, not not drama things, guys. Come on now. Oh, did you guys see Kelly Kaylee McEnany? What the fuck? Got COVID. It spreads, man. Just continues. Fucking crazy. Um, googly people, you you get it. Googly people understands. Um, when is the next fab art, fan art session? Well, we did one on Saturday, right? So we'll do one, I think every self-select Saturday. As long as fan art keeps coming in, we'll, we'll keep doing it. You know what I mean? Like, we did one on Saturday. We're not done. Ooh. Fuck this, dude. Pew, pew. Uh, where's your boss? Where's your fucking boy? I got you, buddy. Off the cliff with you. Where you die? Um, date I went on is a huge WKK fan. What? Date I went on is a huge WKK fan. Might have a Buckerson and Myers date night. Be my wingman on this one. Are you talking to someone in chat? Or are you talking to me? I, I don't know what you. I don't, what? I don't understand what that means. Um. Let me refresh. He went on a date with the Whitey's Kids fan. I gotcha. Okay, cool. Fuck yeah, dude. That's fun. Uh, okay, so I am not gonna fight this lady down here. I'm not trying to risk anything unnecessary because I'm pretty sure I'd kill her, but there's like a one in five chance she'd kill me and I don't wanna take that shot. So I know there's Titanite up here. I think I'm almost ready to go upgrade my sword again. Definitely gonna go get the 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 divine braille holy tomb or whatever the fuck that tome. Sorry, forgive me. So that'll be good. You know what, guys? It's that time. It is time. Everyone hanging out with chair. He's asking for you to help him by referencing him on a date as he and his girl watches? Oh, okay, who's, do sorry guys, I'm, I'm catching up here. Who's, who's the user? I'll do that. Yeah, y'all got me into this Twitch shit, pretty cool. But I'm old with hearing babies, so video games is the thing of the past. Ancient Moth, I feel for you, I feel for you. The collective Souls are the elite of the WKK boys. Audrey, you, you understand. Well, that wasn't what I was asking, but that's fucking awesome. Okay, I, I feel like there's all these conversations that I don't understand. How much are you worth, Zach? Wow, great question. Just telling you, I'm sorry. You're at 270 views right now. It's a shame that you guys have that low now. Airsoft Fatty had 500 yesterday, and he was just walking out of breath. That's cool. We've been doing this for less than a month. Um, here we go. Uh, Andy Max says priceless. This guy's gonna be some chick with Buckerson and Myers in the background. Uh, that's funny. 
All right. So there's the there's the the miracle shit over here that I, I need to get. Come here, yeast. Oh, pregnant dog time, right? You guys know I love the pregnant dog. Big fan of this weird thing. Look at it. The only dog in the whole game that's pregnant. Why? What does it mean? What's happening? Strange. Okay, good. That's good. And then that's good. All right. Refresh chat. What are you saying? Boom, boom, boom. Um, you and the boy should play a Jackbox game. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we will, there's no way we could play a Jackbox game and not violate TOS. There's no possible way. Not sure about the lore, but the pregnant dog is also unique, also has a unique attack. Like the, the vomit out of the mouth. I think that's right. Sly Fox, I love you. Thank you. Um, Bernie is on Twitch. Shut the fuck up. Is he? That would be amazing. Uh, anyone else think it would be cool to see the whitest kids Draw what they think their their Buckerson and Myers characters look like, dude. I'm now all the the fan art is what I think. Like the fan art has shaped my my vision of of all of us. And I think everyone else would agree. Like Trevor looks like like all the fan art of Trevor like kind of looks the same. You know, oh shit, that could have been bad. I could have died right there. I actually could die right now. Let me get safe. That was stupid. Okay, Zach, get serious. Don't die to these things. Jesus Christ. Fuck you, dude. Okay, I'm... This is, like, bizarre. I never have a problem. I can't get away from these dudes. Heal. Good. Thank you. Alright. What the fuck? Once they morph, they, they're, 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 they're a problem. You know? Usually I kill them, like, before that happens. Jesus! I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I'm panicking. Okay, let's just, let's just move. Keep going, keep going, buddy. This is mental. Fuck. Okay, got him. Is there another one here? What is happening? Got you. Jesus Christ, that was ridiculously touch and go. Holy shit. I, that's never happened to me before in this game, ever. That was like, that was legit scary. Fucking crazy. Holy shit. He's on right now, actually. Who's on right now? That dude, my, my heart is right, is racing, dude. Oh, if I died there, I would have been like, I would have, I would have been upset. God damn it. Let me take a little break. Bernie Sanders is on right now. That's amazing. Let's raid him. That's cool. What's Bernie playing? Bernie's playing Duke Nukem. He's playing the new Duke Nukem. He's like, it's not as good as it used to be. The remake brings nothing new to this game. I have 666 souls. Fuck yeah, dude. He's just chatting. It would be amazing if Bernie was playing some crazy, difficult game. He's like doing a no death run in Sekiro. He's like, this guy's always more difficult than you think. Rad beans. You feel shitty. I didn't mean to imply it all and make you feel bad about the view count. Well, then why would you say what you said? What, what are you talking about? You guys deserve a hell of a lot more love. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense. You're off the hook. I love you. Beautiful job. Will you guys look at fan art of your faces in stream? I draw stills and make stickers. Yeah, of course we will. Contra 3. Bernie's Bloodborne No Death Run. Dude, that's so funny. Wouldn't that be the greatest thing ever? If Bernie Sanders was just like fucking shredding... Bloodborne, like he's just great at it. He's like, I've, I'm trying a no hit after I complete the no death. I'm gonna try no hit. He's like, Bernie, you're, you're a savage, dude. Um. I don't know. I, I, you know, these guys. I don't know what the point is of doing these guys. I don't get it. Zach, I missed all your Bloodborne videos. Did you beat it? No, I got my ass handed to me and I rage quit and I'm doing this. Um, aren't we all working on our in real life no death runs? What a profound thought. I guess we are. I guess we are. By the way, Ranjina, last night I read your message to the rest of the guys. So if if, uh, if Sam didn't say anything about the, mess the whisper you sent, it's because uh, he didn't know. But everyone knows now. Um, oh, Zach, that's a shame. I hope you go back. I will. 
No hit run playing with Guitar Hero controller. That would be fucking crazy. As long as your real life kill death ratio isn't positive, you're good. Fuck yeah. Well, wait a minute. How? What? I don't really think I understand that. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Sodomy. 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 That's what I do all day. Do you think you'll ever get into VR gaming? Maybe. How many people you killed in real life, Zach? Negative, you're, you're dead. Exactly. That's what I mean. But positive and you're a murderer. I, I don't... I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Let me check my shit. Five. I need one more. These fucking dudes. Come here, bruh. Come here. I don't know if it's good for me to be wasting my fireballs, but like, I feel like, you know what? You know what I always do in these games? I do it in like Fallout. I do it in every game. I never use items because I don't want to waste them. So I just, I'll beat the game and I won't have used them. You know what I mean? Like in Sekiro, you get all those like sugar candies and shit. I will finish Sekiro and I won't have, have eaten any sugar candy. And it's like, why did I pick them up if I'm not going to fucking use them? That did a lot less damage. The fireball is not to hurt, it's to pull. Fireballs to get their attention. I think of fireballs as like pebbles uh, from Bloodborne. You know what I'm saying? Um, fireballs do do damage on certain enemies. Like there's certain, like the slugs, you know, it'll rip them up. But uh, I don't really stress about it. Come here, bruh. Come here, bruh. Sodomy. Sodomy. Uh, what's... T.O. Increased fire damage. Don't know what that means. Dude, LOL. I missed something funny. Fireworks go. Okay, I'm missing something funny. God, I hate it. I just wish I could play chat and then we'd play the game. Sodomy. Firebombs. Yo, those dudes are lugging around some massive wood. Yo, Boinga. Am I right? These are. I'm going to call these guys Boingas. Um, are y'all a fan of Always Sunny? I am off and on. I don't think it's a bad show. I just feel like I get a little... I've never, like, stuck with it. It's definitely made me laugh a lot. No doubt. Zach, I think you play Dark Souls at the expense of Sam's video game playing. What does that mean? At the expense? Sam could play if he wants. I don't think Sam's itching to be, you know, streaming at between 11 and 2. So, I'm gonna disagree with you, dude. Alright, these guys suck. Don't poison me, bro. Don't poison me, bro! What happened to that kid? Do you think that was just like the most shameful experience of that guy's life, or do you think he can laugh about it? I bet I bet that's a very sore subject. I bet he hates that he's the don't tase me bro guy. Like he's that that he can't be over that, right? Zach, wish me luck on my upcoming closing meeting for work. Good luck, dude. I have to defend an accounting adjustment to our CFO that introduced an unexpected $5 million expense to our balance sheet. We'll come back and watch you out. Dude, go crush it, man. Don't take any bullshit from those pigs. You got this. I trust you. And come back and tell us what happened. Okay, last message, then I'm going to play some games myself. But dude, the mouth wider, way happier sketch is my all-time top 10. We're talking Chappelle show levels of funny. We're talking Chappelle show levels. Just a wackier, way more humor tilt towards. Make the movie. Thank you, my man. Rad beans, we're trying. We really, really are trying. Um, if they don't agree, put a sniper on the building. Uh, can you try to sound like my dad and tell me you love me? Dr. Pro Daily, I'm so proud of you and I love you. And I don't say it enough, but I, I, I just want you to know that I think. How's that? Hang on, let me fucking sodomize this bitch. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Refresh. Okay, you know what? When I was playing with Ronjana, he went up this way, and I was like, that's that's better. I'm gonna just do that. Look at this boinga. Boing. Sodomy. Telling people you're proud of them definitely belongs in the Patreon rewards pal. That's so funny. That's a great idea. Are you winning, son? I'm winning, baby. 
The hang on, let me sodomize this bitch really sold the dad moment. Son, I really, I, I love you and I don't say it enough. Hold on, I have to sodomize someone. Your little brother. Ooh, that got dark. That was gross. Why did I say that? Um, how's with the audio? I know I've had some shitty audio stream sessions. Let me know if it sucks. You guys have a Patreon? We, we need to. We're, we're going to get it going this week. Great. Thank you. Audio sounds good. Gotcha. I have to figure out Patreon rewards, and I don't know what to do. And honestly, I've been so busy these last few weeks getting everything else kind of functioning that, like, the Patreon is, like, sort of the final, the final thing. Um, so, but it's, I've said this before, but if anyone... What's the deal with this guy? What, what is his deal? He's pink. He's like, maybe he'll fight me. Maybe he'll help me. I, I'm not doing it. Uh, so if anyone has any good like Patreon models or you like say, hey, go look at the last podcast on the left, guys. Their Patreon is great. Like, tell me. Help me. I need help. Battle Wound Sketch is one of your... Thanks, man. I'm glad you like that. Um, Zach, have you ever watched the movies that came out in the 80s that were just about yuppies and weird genre of movies? Like what? Like Weekend of Bernie's? What do you mean? No? I don't think I have. Timmy Nudes. That would be a good Patreon reward. Sick down. Pink purple dudes are wild cards. They can go either way. Yeah, so I don't want to, on, on a no death run, no thanks, not doing it. Zach, stream with you was fun. Someone called me and I told, and I told the I was in a meeting. Good excuse. The rabbit man, I gotta say, you're maybe my most fascinating dude in chat. Like, for anyone who doesn't know, yesterday rabbit man was listening to this stream on speakerphone in a grocery store and an old man was getting upset with him. <laughs> okay, weirdo. Um, Rabbit Man wouldn't admit to whether he got a giant back tattoo of Newsboys and like we couldn't get a straight answer out of him. Rabbit Man, by the way, I, I love you, dude. You're hilarious. I just I just think you're fascinating. Oof. Don't. Ooh, yeah, you thought you had me, bro. Did you see my nice dodge? I'm actually proud of that dodge I just did on that guy. Fuck you, dude. What are you sleeping for, dude? I'm standing right in front of you. Fuck you, dude. All right, what is this thing? Nothing, an ember. I don't need embers on a no death run. Thousand dollar Patreon tier, you get a dick pic from every member of the cast. I don't think that's gonna happen. Fingering, fing, fishing in the kitchen sink. Check out Red Letter Media's Patreon. Their model is quite successful. That's exactly what I need. Hang on, let me open my notes. Um, let me, Red Letter Media Patreon. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Also, oh, you know what else? I forgot the name. Somebody in chat yesterday was recommending a band that sounded like The Cure meets Nick Cave. What the fuck was the name of that band, dude? Someone remind me. You got a build plan here for this run? Just a broadsword, strength of dex? I'm going to do raw infusion on the broadsword for a while, build my faith up so I can get the denial spell, which I actually think I should go back. Oh, I need 13 Gs before I go back. Um... So I'm going to do a faith strength. That's, that's my build plan. Wait, hang on. I'm going to refresh chat. Somebody tell me the name of that band. Starting now. Orville Peck. Thank you. Orville Peck. Gotcha. Zach, you got me hooked on Spindrift Grapefruit Rules, baby. I'm drinking it right now. It's so good. Orville Peck. Arswani, I already know about 100 Gex. I like 100 Gex. If you like 100 Gex, I recommend The Garden. Um, Orville Peck is pretentious. Well, I actually kind of like some mu music that a lot of people think is pretentious. So that's not a, that's not an issue for me. I'm into that. Sodomy. Hey, buddy. Get fucked. Oof. I hate these little wizard fucks. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Come here. Hey. What's good? Come here. All right. This run, so far, I'm happy with this run. Any day above ground is good. You ever listen to Frank Zappa? Yes, I do. Big fan. Big old fan. Gonna be honest, I can't I can't get into every record, but um, he's got some great ones. Why did I... I've never done that before. Kick that guy off the ledge like that. That was cool. Do you like math rock? Sometimes. Depends. What a bitch of a... So I rewatched... Here we go. I rewatched Miss March the other night and couldn't help but notice that the word crackhead was dubbed over the voice of Cindy during the abstinence scene. I read on some site that she was supposed to say the R word. Is there a story there? Um, you're pretty much you, you pretty much solved the case, dude. That's that's what it was. 
No, no mystery there. Oof. Uh, refreshing. I love that we have over 300 now. You guys make me very happy. Uh, have you listened to the Lennon Claypool Delirium yet? No. Tropic Thunder drops the R word how many times? Yeah, that came out before our movie. I think our movie, like, before, between the time we shot it and released it, like, the R word was banned. And I'm not even complaining. I think it's actually probably a good thing that it was banned. It's a pretty ugly term to be throwing around cavalierly. Not something I'm proud of. I have no issue that we were told to swap that word out. That's fair. I want to get behind you, dude. Bro. Ah, I can't get behind you, dude. All right, before I go fight this thing, I gotta, I gotta get, get myself sorted out. So let's go back. Uh, Tropic Thunder, one of the best movies ever made. Hmm. If you say so. Primus is good too. We don't talk about. Yeah, Zach didn't get the part in Tropic Thunder. Zach's a little bitter about that. Zach, what's the whale penis grafted to your forehead? Like, what is it? It was like a latex foam thing. I don't know. Claypole Lennon Delirium is great. Cool. How do you feel about blackface? Not into it. Not a fan. Zach's got a Zach's got a big brown beaver. Uh, Simple Jack was funny as fuck. It was. Uh, was it expensive? I don't know. You'd have to ask the art department. We're talking about Buckethead Zach. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's functional. These things are expensive, dude. I haven't seen or thought about that sketch in forever. That's funny. Zach, you got thoughts on the black gaze subgenre? Death Heaven, MOL, Sadness. I only, of the bands you just listed, I only know Death Heaven. I like them. I don't listen to them. I've never listened to a Death Heaven album all the way through. I'm one of those guys where I like to like dig into an entire album. I'm not the kind of dude that will like, I like this song by this band and this song by this band. If I like a song, I'll listen to the whole record and try and like process the whole thing. Um, anyway, Death Heaven's one of those bands that like I've definitely enjoyed them but i've never really like they, they've never like made it into my kind of world of like this is a record i'm going to return to and like enjoy okay hang on let me focus attunement i have one slot oof not gonna get there today no apprentice this year i need more okay i wonder if i can get there with my items let me check come on dude i bet i can't um, fan of Gent? Nope, don't know him. Not because I don't like him, just because I don't know him. Um, whoop, I meant to use selected. If you want a super underground band from Wyoming, check out Harpoon, The Whale. They worked really hard on their last album, Shoegaze, any kind of stuff. Great guitar work. Well, I'm glad they worked really hard on it. Like, what kind of ad is that to listen to it? They worked really hard on it, so listen to it. Yeah, you think everyone doesn't work really hard on their music, dude? <laughs> I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I just think that's a really funny way to like sell a band to someone. Dude, you got to check this record out. They worked so hard on it. Okay, is it good? Dude, just they worked they worked hard. What do you want? They really worked hard at it. No, I know, but like how's the music? Oh my god, what are you not understanding? They spent hours and hours in the studio. Just listen to it. Okay. Gent is a genre. Bands like Periphery, Animals as Leaders. Dude, I don't know any of those bands. I gotta wake up to this. Welcome what am I doing? Can I, did I do it? Did I hit my, did I hit my target here? Nope, 52. God damn it. Uh, what do I do? All right, well, let me go boost my weapon. Okay, getting more powerful. I guess you could market your album the opposite way. Check out my new album. I only spent like 15 minutes on it. That's funny. Remember you can buy a ring for 300 souls that gives you an attunement slot. Yes, dude, you are a fucking lifesaver. Who said that? The cra yeah, the crazy saxophonist. Thanks, buddy. Um, oh, fuck, but you know what? I wonder if I now have spent too many souls to even buy Denial. Did I fuck myself? she have denial oh i have to give her the thing oh, take it take your book 
Haiku is BS in my opinion. Maybe in Japanese there is more appeal, but I've never understood the fascination. Tales of the All right, hot take. Okay, are you denial? You're force. You're denial. 10,000? Oh no! All right, um, I'm not gonna fight those wizards before I have denial. I'm not gonna fight any boss without denial. I actually don't even wanna fuck with anything without denial. How do I get 10,000 fast? I guess I could try, dude, if I fall down this ladder and die, I'm gonna fucking hate myself. But I think that's the only move. Is to, is to haul ass past those giant, like, sword guys, drop down the ladder, hope they fall down the ladder. This is actually sketchy. I'm a little nervous about this. I think that there's a one in three chance I die. Zach, play Super Mario 64. Ladder death is passable? No, death is a death, man. A death is a death. No balls, no glory. Fuck yeah, dude. You get it. It's probably due to you being the one playing, Zach, but never thought I'd be watching gameplay and finding it entertaining. Thanks, man. Last system I bought was GameCube. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. All right. Fuck. Okay, so here's the plan. For anyone who doesn't really understand Dark Souls, or you're just hanging out with me, but you don't know the game. So through the, the trees here, I have to drop down. You see that crab right there, that giant crab? He's a problem, but I can outrun him. I gotta get up the bank, and then you kinda see that staircase there through the trees, you can't, but trust me, there's a staircase. There's two badass motherfuckers that will rush me at the same time. If I fight them both, it's a, it's a one out of four chance I'll survive. So I don't wanna fight them both. But what I wanna do is rush through them, slide down this really long ladder that's behind them, and they will hopefully fall down the ladder and die. If, if I fall down the ladder, I'm dead, game over. That will suck. If they fall down the ladder, sweet, I should get a good amount of souls, and there's a bonfire right there. So here we go. Fighting crabs in the ocean, kill it fast, pain explosion, yeah. I don't know what that means, twerking. All right, I'm about to go for this. Um, here I go. Let's fucking do it. Let's just get it over with. Also, I think this is good armor. See, that crab is on my ass. I already am safe from the crab now. He doesn't come up on land. There's badass dude number one. Don't don't hit me. There's badass dude number two. Here's the ladder. Now the trick is you don't want to go down it too soon. Come on, buddy. Yes. Fall. Ooh, he did hit me. Okay, he fell. That's good. That's one down. Where's his buddy? If his buddy comes down the ladder, I'll have to fight him, but I think I can beat him. Worst case scenario, I could flee into the swamp. Okay, he's coming down. Fuck, I hate this guy. Ugh. Yeah, ah, oh, this guy sucks, dude. Let me just get a little hit on him with that. Can I hit him? Yeah. Oh, dude, I can rock him on the ladder. Can I get a backstab in? No, no, die. Yes! Okay, so that was actually one of the more difficult moments. Uh, or potentially. I, I made it look easy, but yeah. I told us the plan, and then I executed the plan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Imagine Tinkerbell trying to lick your giant... Okay, what, what are you talking about, dude? Most people who go for the no-death runs can probably beat him. I know that, dude, and I just did. I'm just saying that some people will die there. Good lord. Give me some credit. Ban that guy? Yeah, I don't love that stuff, but I'm not going to ban someone for that. that. That's not my speed. I don't really want to be banning people. Um, refresh. Credit Zach, he did great. Thank you, thank you. Music Boys this week? Yeah, I want to do Music Boys. You know, I was just so tired after Self Sucks, but I do want to do another Music Boys. If I have a plan to make you money and gain me attention, okay, I'm interested. If I have a plan, now hear me out. Let's say I have a plan to make you money and get me attention as an artist in a new and upcoming art monetization system through crypto, NFT art, would it be fine for me to monetize Buckerson and Myers? I would do all the artwork, setting everything up. All you'd need, I feel like you're wearing like a suit and your hair is slicked back. All you'd need is an Ethereum wallet to receive what it makes. I don't know what that is, but I'm listening. To help out the movie that I really want to see. Thank you. And I have watched you for free for a long time. Just trying to give something back. Feels right. It would be in a month or so. Okay, Xenotopo. Fuck yeah, dude. 100%. Um... 
let's talk about it. Why don't you message me, like, not in chat, and explain to me in detail. Maybe we'll get on a fucking Discord call so I can ask you questions in real time. I hate chatting on type. Um, but I'm inclined to say, sounds good. Yes. Don't fall for it. It's a pyramid scheme. That sounds so funny. That sounds incredibly sketchy. Okay, chat's looking out for me. If you fuck me, by the way, mm, mm. Oof. Now, what if I told you you could make money and I'd get attention? And all you need, like, these are the phrases that just immediately make people like, nope, nope, dude. <laughs> what if I told you? Imagine. Okay. I got the Estes shard. I got to get up. Oh, I got a Titanite shard. I don't, I think I just need large. So that doesn't do anything for me. What else do I need? I got to fight. Let that guy go. Let this guy come. Come here, bro. Come here, bro. You're cute. Hi. Hi. Attack. Uh, you better not fuck him, bro. <laughs> don't you fuck me on this. Oh, oh, this guy's angry. Hi. Okay. This guy's face is revolting, dude. Wait, don't I have, like, this ability to just end your bullshit dance? I do. I need to do that more often. Like, I could just be killing these guys. I don't have to be, like, fucking around with them. Um, what did he mean, start this run? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I heard a good word the other day. Crypto-fascist. Crypto-fascist. Pretty cool. I, I Did I hear it on chat? Did I hear it in stream? Just the idea that a crypto-fascist is someone who is, like, a secret, like, a secret Trump supporter... Like a, a secret. By the way, I'm not trying to get into. A, I'm, I'm not going to get into a political thing. If you like, if you support Trump, I've said this before. You are welcome here, but you're going to have to tolerate me occasionally saying something you disagree with. Sorry, but a crypto fascist, someone who secretly supports fascism. Great word. Cool word. Um, maybe I should just get a Toyota pickup. Zach just said fascists are cool. No, I no, I don't think I said that, bro. Hey, Zach, I have done some market research and have found that you can get funds necessary for the movie if you can convince Timmy to start an OnlyFans account. Well, I did that yesterday with Darren, and he was, like, totally taking me seriously, and it was... All right, this guy, actually, I have to take... I have to, I have to, I have to respect this guy. Part of me thinks I'll throw an alluring skull and just fuck him up that way, but I think part of me is just like, let's just go for it. I've died to this guy multiple times. Ooh, got the sodomy in. It's a good sign. Can I finish it now, too? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. What's next? Do I want these items? I don't even know. I know there's a sword over here that's not terrible. Hey, bud. Let's party. Sometimes I must be annoying to listen to because I think I say a lot of the same <laughs> phrases every day like i think i say hey bud let's party once a session and i probably say like where's your fucking boy once a session just part of the deal guys great job zach now we're gonna have crypto politicians coming out of the woodwork okay well sorry my b pull strings act all that's a fun idea hey, pull strings act all would be like here here's it. you'd pull it and you go how the fuck do i get this thing to work why do i have to refresh chat <laughs> Hey, bud, let's party. And refreshing chat again, because it's broken. That's what that's what it would be. You're one of the least annoying streamers. Thanks, Ralph Ligham. You're cool. Uh, what else? All right, let's get back. Let's get my head in the game. Let's get back on the mission. Milking a catchphrase until it's beyond dead. Now you're a professional streamer. So is that a thing? Do streamers have, like, catchphrases? That's fucking stupid. My hippo shirt finally shipped. Good deal. I hope you like it. Let's reset all the world's currency to bring about a new world order. Whoa, heavy. Even better, the doll itself doesn't work, causing you to say to the doll, why isn't this thing working? And it comes full circle, you now are me. Yo, do the shirts ship to South America? That's a good question. I don't know the answer. I bet it says when you're buying the shirt where it will ship and where it won't. Did you see they definitely pulled the Trevor President shirt? No, I didn't see that. I'm not surprised. Some people got it, though. A dude sent me a photo wearing it, so I know I know it did ship. That I knew that was going to cause problems, dude. I, I, I honestly worry that that shirt... Oh, shit. 
will get us like in real trouble. I worry that like we'll we could get like what if we don't make Twitch partner because of that shirt? Like that would fucking suck. We still haven't made Twitch partner yet, which is a little a little concerning. Like does Twitch think because of our name that we're like a racist thing? Like we're not. We're pretty lefty. We're not, you know, Sam's wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt in the new Buckerson and Myers. Like, I just, I worry. I don't know, man. I'm worried about it. Imagine getting in trouble over a shirt instead of an actual sketch it's based on. Dude, it could happen. Now you're going in cages with kids for it instead. Twitch is a mess when it comes to this bullshit. Is it? I'm worried. I thought you said you needed to call Twitch back. I actually am going to hopefully call the Twitch guy today or tomorrow. I could, we emailed this morning. Uh, the rabbit man. Zach, is it also bad that my wife called and said I was in a meeting? I, dude, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Twitch is very careful with that stuff. They should be. 10 million kids apply. Okay, well, that's kind of comforting. Start a communist revolution. No. You got to go full KFC and change your name to WKUK. I think that's what we're doing. I don't, actually don't think... Someone tell me if I'm wrong. I don't think it says whitest kids on our Twitch or YouTube, does it? Does it? Fuck, somebody tell me, if you don't mind. <laughs> Will you guys look? I think it just says WKUK. No, it says why does kids you know. It's a graphic. They're hit and miss, okay. So we should change all of it to just WKUK is a comedy troupe, they're hit and miss. And the icon, should we change the logo? Are we fucking ourselves? Ugh, the graphic is the problem. What do we do? Why would that not be acceptable? Because in 2020, white supremacists are like a legit problem. And I don't trust that people will give anyone the benefit of the doubt. That's, that's, my, that's why I'm so concerned. That's fucking ridiculous. What a stupid fucking era of our... You know what I mean? Whatever. You should put up the Ozfest graphic. Did you? Did the other YouTube channel not let you have their name? Uh, th that other YouTube channel, I'm gonna try and strike this week. I don't give a fuck what what they what they think. Okay, so I just rushed in like a dummy. Let me let me let me play it correctly. You, have you noticed when I get angry, I start to make mistakes in the game? Like yesterday, I got real worked up and then I fell off the bridge and died. Come on, Zach. Come on, buddy. Right. Sodomy. Oh yeah, that's one that the Zach pull string would do. You'd pull it and go, sodomy. Just tweak it to WKUK. I think you're right. I think that's the move. Ew, gross, dude. Are you a mouth puppet for CNN? Whatever you want, man. Whatever you think. Can you tell the burning sweatpants story? Like when I got set on fire? Mm, I already told that. D&D &D tomorrow. Yes, hopefully. I'm editing it, you know, today. So if I get it all done tomorrow. But we, sh we shot it last night. It went great. It's good. Tomorrow, yeah. Uh, are you going to strike Hatchet? Yeah, Probably. Probably. But the sound didn't work, yeah. I just joined. Tell me your your boy is not fat rolling. I don't know what that means. Dick riding Reddit. When are you going to stream D&D? &D? We're not going to stream D&D &D ever. Um, you didn't hear the story? Well, I got set on fire, and it was absolutely horrible. And I was a fucking mess for a long time. Uh, I don't even know what stream I told that on. Maybe I'll do like a, another retelling of it, and I'll put it on YouTube. It's a pretty crazy story. Ugh, I hate these guys. I hate these guys! Um, why am I upset right now? What, what, like, I'm like annoyed with, oh yeah, I'm stressed out about Twitch. I was like, wait, why, why are my emotions weird? Oh, right, because I forgot I'm stressing out about Twitch and the TOS. Do you guys think I'm gonna have a problem with Whitest Kids? Do you think we're gonna get denied because of our name? Um, I'm like legit nervous. I guess if that does happen, we'll, we'll, you think no? Probably not? Okay. 
It would be bullshit if you did. Yeah, but bullshit happens sometimes. Uh, I think there'll be some trouble somewhere. I think the content is not PC. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, some of our content is not PC. I, I, I totally can't argue there. I don't think anything is hateful, though. You know, I think it's like, whatever. You know what? This is out of my control. There's no point in me stressing about something that I have no control over. If, if, they, if they don't give it to us, then we'll stay affiliate and we'll, it'll take us longer to raise money. Or we'll jump ship and we'll go to YouTube Live because I feel like YouTube Live is like getting ready to really compete with Twitch and hopefully we'll just do it there. It'll be fine. Or it won't, you know? Live in the moment, guys. Live in the fucking moment. All right, now I have 12,000. I think I might be... No, I need more. I need more. Let me go up and get those large shards. Then I'll go back to Firelink. Then I'll upgrade myself. Instant Karma Bigot. That's, that's very PC. Come on. My mom said don't go worrying something negative into existence. That's pretty wise. Your mom's a smart lady. Uh, you ever fuck around with the two-handers? No. And everyone tells me to, and they got to be right. Like, I noticed that when I, on the, the rare few times that I do... Like, you stagger people so much faster. So it would definitely behoove me to, to, get, to get better at that. Stray Demon? No. On a no death run, I'm not fucking with Stray Demon. That guy kills me too often. I feel like I have a 60% chance of killing Stray Demon. And I'm not taking those odds on a no death run. Maybe I'll come back and fight Stray Demon when I'm just, like, hulked out. But not at this level. It's not worth it. You know what I mean? Is it advisable to start with Dark Souls 1? It doesn't matter to me. I, th I, I, I think that they're, you know, they're, these games are not like story-driven games, really. Like, they're all pretty self-contained. So yeah, you can start with Dark Souls 1. You can start with Dark Souls 3. You know, I, I, Dark Souls 1 is a sequel. You know, Demon Souls uh, is the first of them. So th starting with Dark Souls 1 is fine. Okay, I got two larges. I think that's all I need to boost. This guy, so this this little lizard here, you wanna you wanna hug the right so he doesn't go up the stairs. Because if he goes up the stairs, you signal the tattletale, and then you you gotta fight everybody, and it's annoying. Just a little tip. But if you if you if you corral him down here, then you get to kill all these guys while they're sleeping, and uh, you're you're safe. Look at that. I love that move. I need to do that move all the time. I need to always do that. Uh, what else, chat? What else can we talk about? Play one before three, though, at least. Sure. Forgive my ignorance, but aren't the stories of each Dark Souls self-contained? I, I, dude, if you're ignorant, I'm ignorant. The stories of Dark Souls games are so, like, opaque and convoluted. I, I, I don't even understand them, and I play these games so much. So, um, don't... Don't apologize. I don't know either. They aren't self-contained. Interesting. When are we getting horror boys? Ooh. We could do it right now. I love horror, man. Although I need someone to talk to about it. What if I could get Jordan to come on and do horror boys with me? That would be amazing. I could get different horror directors to come on. Like, I know Ty West. I could, I could probably get him to come do horror boys. Ooh, that would be fucking fun, dude. Have you watched any of the cartoons about Dark Souls? No. Uh, horror boys, bro, that would be amazing. I don't think I could get Jordan. That dude's so busy. I, I wouldn't even ask him, honestly. Like, cancel that. I'm not gonna ask him. Um, I, I like the last thing I want is my friendship with Jordan to be one where I'm asking him for favors because I feel like everyone in his life is asking him for favors all the time, and I just don't want to be that guy. But I think I, who else do I know that makes horror movies? I know other people. That would be great. Okay. Let's go level up. Wait, I said let's go level up. Why didn't I, why didn't I travel? What am, what's wrong with me? Um, what else, what else? If you get Jordan Peele or Ty West, you need to uh, advertise the fuck out of it. Yeah, good call. I would have to like make everyone tweet and all that shit. That's true. That's true. Ty I can get. No, no question. 
Uh, Sam Cedar was on Tim Heidecker's fake wacky morning radio show, and it's pretty funny. You know, we did before we did our, our show on um, Fuse, which turned into our IFC show. We did a pilot for Sundance, so this had to be like 2005, and Sam Cedar was on that show, and it was about that show wasn't a sketch show per se. It was more about us as ourselves being like like idiots, and Sam Cedar played the network exec that had to like put up with us. And uh, he was great, man. We should find that pilot and release it. I can't imagine anyone would care. By the way, they didn't pick it up because it wasn't very good. But uh, yeah. Have you ever done any collabs with the crew from the state? Uh, no, I didn't. I was going to do a movie with Tom Lennon last year, but I actually didn't do it. I, I decided not to. Um, but we shared an office Jim Biederman, our producer, was also producing Michael and Michael Have Issues. So we shared an office with Michael Ian Black and Michael Showalter for a while. And um, it was very, like, we were, we were so intimidated by those guys because, you know, they came before us. We love those guys. I'm a huge fan. Um, but they just, like, weren't, they weren't, like, David Wayne is, like, very friendly. Like, David Wayne would come in and be like, hey, what's up? And he'd, like, look at the edit and be like, you guys are great. The, the Michaels, that's not their vibe. So we, we always kind of felt like we had to like steer, leave them alone, don't bother them. Um, you know, they're super funny, but like I, I, Michael Showalter and I finally like near the end started to get like, I remember we smoked a cigarette together and he like, he like flicked it out. We were like talking while we were smoking. He's like, all right, buddy, I'll see you later, buddy. And he like hit my shoulder and I was like, he called me buddy. I was like so happy that Showalter called me buddy. It's ridiculous. Okay. No, no, don't cancel the level up. Level up. You know, there are just some dudes in your life that you like fucking love, but like you, you just can't tell if they like you. That's how I always felt around Showalter and, and uh, Black. I, love I was like, please approve of me. I think there's also like, because we were always self-conscious of our stupid name, The Whitest Kids, we always had this like, this nervousness when we were around other comedians that we respected that we, we just already assumed that they were judging us because of our name. You know what I mean? So, like, we did a show once with, like, Mark Maron, Dream Garofalo, and David Cross, and we were, like, backstage with them. And I, we just kept ourselves because we just assumed, we're like, they don't, they don't want to talk to the white. Like, I just regret our name so much. Ugh. What are you going to do? If I could go back in time, I would change the name a thousand percent. If you could, what would you rename Whitest Kids? Literally anything. Table. Monitor. Uh, anything. Anything. Has anyone asked about the Whitest Kids CD? I don't know. Dude, you're on a tangent. We love it, but read chat. What happened? What did I miss? What did I miss? You ever meet any of the Pythons? Yeah, we told a story about meeting the Pythons on Saturday. Um, did I miss something from chat? Hang on. Do I need to go look at... Let me go look at the uh, recent events. Let's... let's. I worry I missed something. What is chat? Tears of denial. No, I can't buy it, dude. I, I don't have the money. I have to... What Are you... You didn't get Tears of Denial. I leveled up. Oh, because I'm a fucking idiot. I missed it again. Oh, my God, you guys. Okay. Okay. TV, camera, woman, person. I'm senile. It's because I'm talking. It's because I'm not focusing on the game. I'm, like, fucking talking to you guys. I'm so fucking stupid. Although, look, I did do myself a solid by getting the, the leveling up to get the... Um, the attunement slot, so now I can have the ring so I can have Tears of Denial and a Lightning Bolt. So it wasn't a total waste, all right? Let's not be total fucking dicks to me right now, you guys. And I can get, I only need 3,000 more souls. I'm gonna have this real fast. It's gonna be okay. And I didn't just level up my sword. You guys are fucking me. Why didn't you tell me to boost my sword? <laughs> just because just the mistake had good consequences didn't doesn't mean you didn't fuck up. True, true. No, you're fucking me. I was always weep for the people in video games that build all this shit. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Why can't you just read chat all the time while also perfectly playing Dark Souls 3 and not dying? <laughs> Zach, viewers up to 350. We're doing it. No, no, no. We had a Souls Boys Souls Boys record yesterday. Wrong star. We had over four. I think we I think we we beat 400 yesterday. I'm not sure though. All right, let me boost my sword now. I'll keep talking to you guys. I'll go boost my sword. And then I got to earn 10 Gs. And then I'll buy Denial. And then I'll, I'll get my shit together. Um, God damn it. 
this game sometimes, you know? Uh, so are you going to stream every time at this hour? I think so. I think 11 to 2 is good. Also, you know, I was texting with Johnny Pemberton yesterday. Do you guys know Johnny Pemberton? He's a very funny comedian. Exile, Exile Greatsword is dope for a dex build. I'm not doing Exile. I'm doing Strength Faith. Um, what if right now I went and I just leveled up with her? You guys would be like, you fucking idiot. Um, yeah, you love Johnny. So Johnny and I were talking about raiding each other this week. So maybe I'll be, maybe we'll do some raids um, with Homeboy. Damn, dude. I also didn't upgrade my Estus Flask, you guys. Nobody told me about that. You know what I mean? Sweet power coursing through my veins. Have you thought about playing a horror game this month? That's a great idea. I was talking about playing Outlast 2, but I feel like chat didn't like that idea. Zach, are you actually the best game player chat reader I've seen? Oh, you are actually. Oh, thanks, bud. That's awesome. Make sure he's online before you raid this time. Okay, so I sent everyone to the wrong tomb yesterday, like a dickhead. That was a little embarrassing. Also, I need to remember to burn my thing. Um, yeah, poor Griffin. And it was like his, almost his birthday, and I just I sent everyone to a different tomb. Ugh, whatever. Boomer, fuck you, dude. Amount Us Murder Mystery Night. Do you mean Among Us? Could be. Don't raid Sasha again. Don't worry. Won't we won't. Um Okay, keep ruins. I need to earn three G's. So I'm gonna talk through my strategy of what I'm about to do next because it is a little dangerous and I want everyone to know what I'm doing. Play Dead Space, love Dead Space. Play Ghost of Tsushima. I just did. I thought it was fine. I'm not gonna play it. The most supremacist kids you know. Okay. You're banned. Uh, Resident Evils are the remakes are good. I love those games. The most crypto fascist kids you know, sure. Um, she couldn't have cared less. I know, dude. So I was told. I didn't watch that, but everyone told me. They're like, she doesn't give a fuck. You kind of want to rate people that like it, it. It matters to them. You know what I mean? All right. So here's my deal. I need to put out the next flaming thing. I don't think I'm going to die doing this. I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on this. But I have to... There's these giant dinosaur dudes with huge magic hammers that uh, I don't really love fighting. There's one right there. See him in the distance? So I got to kill that guy. And then there's another one that'll chase me up the stairs. So I, gotta, I have to kill these dudes in a poison bog uh, before I can put out the next one. And then I'm going to get invaded by an NPC who's no walk in the park. So I'm actually being a little dangerous right now. But um, it's okay, man. It's Dark Souls. It's all dangerous. What's up, buddy? Hey, bud. Let's party, he said again. Let's go. Let's go. My trick for these dudes is you want to bait him in. I actually don't kill him. I let the fire kill him. So I want to get him. All I got to do is really keep him moving towards the flames, dodge the magic... Watch my health. Ooh, see, there he is. Look how much Look how much damage he takes from that fire. Boom. So I just got to keep him standing on the fire. He should die right now. Got him. There it is. Pro tip from yours truly. Use it. Learn it. Incorporate it. I know that there's, like, an item over there. I don't, I don't really need it, I don't think. Um, okay, I'm at 8,000. I need to get 2,000 more. All right, so there's another dinosaur guy just over here to the right behind that tree. He will chase me, so I'm going to try the same strategy. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. There you go. Now you see me. Come on now. Um, tomorrow's Buckerson and Myers. I don't think this is a spoiler alert, but I have to say, my character, Hyphen Ponder 7, gets a pretty sick kill. I, I, I do some pretty amazing moves if, if, I, if I can blow my own horn. I, I'm excited for people to uh, to see my little my little halfling. Oh fuck! I'm getting chewed up. I, I shred somebody in a in a rad way. Come on, bud. Get in the fire, dude. Get in the fire, dude. Come on. This guy just doesn't want to. Come on, man. Woo! Come over here. Come to me. This guy's like smarter than the other one. Do I have to come up and like actually fucking hurt you? 
Ooh, okay, and now you gotta watch out. He does these attacks, which are pretty serious. His most dangerous one is when he does this like area of effect uh, attack that'll, that'll, Jesus Christ. What if I died rolling into the fire? Holy moly, okay. All right, that's done. Refresh chat. I'm just waiting for Trevor to get bored and decide he wants to kill everyone. And you're not gonna have to wait too long. Um, <laughs> that's kind of his MO. Favorite Black Mirror episode, don't watch it. Where did hyphen Potamus 7's name come from? I have no idea, dude. It was just the dumbest name I could think of in the moment. How long is the next D&D? I'm still editing it now. I think it's down to 120. I bet when I'm done, it'll be an hour. Uh, Zach, don't change your name because if you do, you'll have to change it every time some stupid event happens in the USA, right? Which of the whitest kids are going to be on the Gus and Eddie podcast? I think you guys have a similar audience. Dude, I, I talked about that already today. Uh, someone helped me make that happen. I would love to do it. I don't know how to get a hold of him. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna get, hang on, I'm gonna get invaded. I also have to fight, this guy's no joke, so let me, let me, let me focus on this dude here for, okay, I already came at him wrong. Okay, come here. Yes, sodomy is good. I think I've got you in the bag, yes I do. All right, so here comes this Heisel guy. Fuck, I hate this guy. The key for this guy is to fight him on the stairs. You don't wanna fight him in the swamp. That's no fun. Um, about to get yellow fingered. I know. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. Come here. I hate this guy. I could die here. I I probably won't, but it, it wouldn't be like unheard of for me to die right now. Jesus. Like he does so much damage and he heals himself. I fucking hate this guy. One, two. Okay. Ah. Fuck. Get away from him. Heal. I fucking hate this guy. Heal again. Didn't heal twice. That sucks. Hit. 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 I'm just gonna play this so cautious. Hit, hit. Ah, don't heal. Oof. All right, I'm chewing him up. I'm gonna get him. Don't, that, that's where he can kill me. Ah, and then he heals. I fucking hate him. All right, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna take him. There it is. Ah, that guy stresses me. Fuck out, dude. Um, gamered. You've been gamered. It's actually less stressful playing this offline. Even though when I'm rolling with Rangina, my homie, it's like, you know, it's way more dangerous. But I feel like offline I have more control. Because um, I'm not going to get invaded by people. And I, and I don't feel pressure to, like, rush. I can kind of go at my own pace. When I'm playing with, with bodyguards, I feel like I gotta, I gotta be... I can't be as thorough. I have to be like, I have to keep it moving. People are waiting for me. Even though I know those dudes don't feel like that. Oh shit. This would also, I could actually also die. These guys, the curse is an instant kill. So let me actually just collect myself. All right, you know what? I have, oh, I don't want to get cursed. All right, two shot. You know what? I don't need a shield for these guys. I gotta start remembering when I don't need a shield. What's up with chat? Refresh, baby. Uh, Trevor plays Minecraft offline. I don't think he does. Uh, Janky Stankleg. Yeah, you think so? Okay. Not a fan of online gaming since I tend to suck and these fucking kids are brutal. I, I know what you mean, dude. I agree. I'm just not as good as most people. Actually, in Dark Souls, I think I'm as good as most people. But in other games, I'm not. Okay, no, there's one more. Don't even think about it. Repair powder. Okay, wait. Yeah, here's the cave. I know that there's faith items in here. I do a lot of classroom skit with Trevor's... I, I, oh, you love the classroom sketch. Cool. Thank you. Glad you like that. Um, that's one of our earliest sketches. Has a child upset you in Call of Duty chat yet? That's so funny. Like being called horrible names. Um, no, because I don't really care what children say. <laughs> uh, but it's, it is funny. It's funny how some people spend all their time mocking stupid outrage. You could have had your own personality and goals, you know? Who are you talking to? What do you mean? Has an adult upset you in Call of Duty? Oh, fuck. This guy? Okay, so I pulled this guy. I didn't mean to. Okay. 
guy. I don't love that I just pulled him. I don't think he can follow me up here. You know what, dude? What am I doing? You know what? It's time for me to, like, play responsibly. Guess what, dudes? I'm going to go take a little boy's break. And I'm going to run an ad. If you haven't subbed, you're going to have to watch an ad. But if you have subbed, dudes, enjoy chair. Chair time, baby. Here we go. Okay, let's fucking go. Everyone loves chair. We're all happy with chair. Notice me, chair senpai. Chair, chair, chair. I heard chairs ready to mingle again. Fucking A. By the way, nobody sent me... Chair said some racist shit while you were away? I'm not surprised. Chair has, chair has been saying some pretty, pretty right on the line things lately. And I'm not surprised he crosses the line. Zach didn't wash his hands again. Fuck you, dude. Yes, I did. Fuck you. Chair, not a fan. By the way, nobody sent me an offer for chair. Chair is for sale. Somebody wants chair, oh, message me, dude. I'll, I'll fucking lose this chair in a heartbeat. I don't love this chair. All right, buying it. How come it has a... Th oh, I need 15. What do I have? I have 14. Okay, I need one more one more faith. Oh, let me buy... Did I buy the ring? Let me buy the ring. Cool. What else am I missing? Can I buy something you're asked? You can buy chair. I'll give you 350. Dude, you're you're overbidding for this chair. Sign the chair. Sure. 20 bucks? I got 20. I got 20. I will give you my butt V card for it. Oh, gross. Um, art trade for cherry. Ooh, I'm interested in that. Bacon ham Lincoln. 69. I got professional okay. Professional computer man. $69. Can I beat 69? Do I have a hundred? Are you committed to not having children? No, but I'm leaning towards it. 70 and a bag of your favorite Jelly Bellies. Okay, I got 70 from the Cappy. 71, Smiter and shipping, love it. Smiter at 71, do I have any more? I got 71. Oh, I think I gotta refresh. 71, anybody beating 71? Talk faster, I can't. $750, Pop and Floss. I don't really believe you, but $750 will definitely do it. Pop and Floss, are you being serious? You couldn't pay me to fuck that chair. I, I agree. Pop and Floss says 750 By the way, all proceeds from the chair will go to the movie. 420 is not 750 but uh, I don't know if 750 is serious. So cranberry juice, let me know. Pop and Floss says, I've never been serious about anything in my life. You're banned. You're banned forever. You wasted my time. Not a new chair. 90. McNarley says 90. Cranberry juice says 420. I think 420 is a joke. McNarley says 90. Alien isolation would be awesome. 91. Professional computer man says 91. I got 91. Twerk and Maggle says banned. Yeah, ban it. Twerk and Maggle can ban you. And I give her permission or him permission, but I also don't care. 4,000. No, $42,069 to Ocor. Ban Ocor. Um, 92 and a BJ. No, thank you. Still a dude. Oh, you're a dude. Okay. Maggle, for some reason, I think Maggie twerks. Still a dude. Uh, still a dude, bro. Twerking. Funny. Also, twerking. You get why, why I, I, I question that. What are we at? Are we at 90? Is that the deal? Is that the current thing? Refreshing. Hang on. Fuck this chat thing. Guys can twerk too. That's true. 95, eat ass every day, 95. 
Magal is Texas for Michael, even though my name isn't Michael. Okay, 98 question mark, Eric Wander. Okay, we got 98 question mark. Andy Mac, 110. I don't know if any of you guys are serious. Andy Mac, 110, what do we got? Your name is girly as fuck, dude. Um, professional Computer Man, 111. We're at 111, have the chair appraised. It's worth $9. Um, I'm professional and serious as shit. Okay, Professional Computer Man, I'm gonna take you at your word. 111. Also, with shipping, that means I'll be making $30 for the movie off this chair, but that's fine. I don't care. Um, upholster the chair. It needs love. Yeah. We're at 111, guys. 111. I'm waiting for the stream, which is just you guys selling your shit. It, it came. You're, you're watching it. Does it smell like ass? No, it doesn't smell bad. It smells fine. Um, this should be your stream, just auctioning off all the things you don't want. Are we having a bidding war for chair? Yes, we are. Right now, we're at 111. 111. Can we beat it? Anyone want to anyone want to beat 111? I'll give you 50 if you find me a bird with no legs. <laughs> Can you sign it? Sure. I'll I'll happily sign it. Uh, Zach doesn't Timmy just make a mold of his dick, dildo it and then self suck that 1 million subs. Not a bad idea. 120. Raiden says 120. This is like Craigslist without the M4M fun. 115 is not more than 120, Sean stupid. 911 is not a real number. I know you're lying. Uh, smell it up close real quick to make sure it's okay. I mean, I'll smell the head part. It has, it has like, it actually doesn't smell great. It's fine. It's like, you can't really smell it. 150 if the others sign it too. Well, Darren and Timmy would have to not, I, I could sign for them. I'm not mailing the chair to South Dakota and Pennsylvania, okay? But Trevor and Sam, easy, no problem. I can get them. Nice content here. 125. Sean Stupid, 125. I think you're in the lead. Um, what are you going to do? Sit in, what are you going to sit in if you sell this chair? I don't, I, I don't know. 130. Wrong star, 130. 75 cents if you eat the change. I got 130. You and Trevor for 150. Done. 150. I, mean, I can guarantee Tra Trevor, Sam, and I will sign the chair. I can, that I can guarantee. Um, so is that 150 to Raiden? Unless you don't want Sam to sign it. You just said me and Trevor. Um, uh, Raiden 150 with signatures. Anyone want a top 150? I'll do 200 for this signed chair. I got 200 from Hellacious Fellatio. Also one of my favorite names in chat. Hellacious Fellatio is fucking funny. 151, Sean is stupid. No, 200, sorry, 200, might be. Just Trevor for 200, fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. 200. Is this a no-no for Twitch? I have no idea. 225 if you and your wife will sign it? Sure, she'll sign it. 225. Hey, Zach, this is my first time catching one of your streams. Well, this, they're not normally like this. This is this is not a normal stream. I'm selling my chair. Uh, can't be 200. I'm sorry, Sean's stupid. Sorry, buddy, you're not going to get it. 225 to Winter Haven is the current fucking... 230! Raiden coming in at 230. I'll pay 300 bucks for it, but only if Timmy signs it and no one else. Get out of here. You're wasting my time. No way this is real. This is real. I don't want to have this chair any longer. Everyone loves chair. Just pissing me off. Why would someone buy the chair? I have no idea. I, I've, I've been so, so vocal about how, how much I don't like this chair. What happens if you sell the chair? Will you just be standing the entire time? I'll have to buy a new chair. I'll have to order a new one. Uh, back down to 90, you're out. You can't go back down to 90. Naked picture of your wife, it will, you go, go fuck yourself. Um, Hermes chair. I, dude, it's not like a... It's. You don't want this chair, guys. Um, what are we at? Who's, the, who's in the lead right now? I think it was Raiden, right? Can I buy the chair for 30 bucks? Why would you even waste my time with something like that? No, no. Do you want the winner to send you pictures of them using chair? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Can you sniff it and tell me what it smells like? I just, no. I will pay 500 for you to throw it in the trash. Dude, that's the best one yet. All right, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel like we've hit our max. The real high bidder backs out of paying 200. I'll still pay the 150. All right, Sean. 120, but you have to sleep with my wife. But you got to run my mall. Um, all right. Alternative idea, host the stream from the ground. Nope. Zach tearing it up today. 230 signed, I'll take it. That's my Christmas money. Raiden, 
I'm gonna say you got a deal. Message me if you're serious, and 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 I will I will fucking send it to you, dude. I'm not even joking. I think I paid. I think I bought this chair for like three fifty or four hundred dollars. So I'm taking a loss on this, and I'm gonna ship it to you. So that's coming out of your money. So you know, I'm definitely taking a loss on this, but I need a new chair. Um, you paid four hundred for that piece of shit. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm fucking dumb. All right, let me attune. Wait a minute, why can't? Oh yeah, I gotta boost my faith. You paid. You paid for. I don't even know how much I paid. I, I bought it a long time ago, but I, I, I. It wasn't cheap, man. It's it's a. It's not a cheap chair. Can someone explain to me the attraction to this particular chair? You paid four hundred dollars for a chair. I thought I was buying something that I was going to use every day for 10 years that I spend six hours a day in. Yeah, I'll spend 400 bucks on a chair, dude. Oh, wow, well, I should. I'm 40 years old. <laughs> um, did you listen to Orville Peck yet? I want to know what your thoughts were. I didn't, but I asked chat today to remind me who that was, so I will listen to it. Okay, a tune. Tears, love it. Now I am, I am coming back, baby. Uh, oh, what the fuck? 16? Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, my God. All right, so what do I need to level up? What is my deficit here? 59, I got 35. All right, I got to get six Gs before I can even use denial. 400 isn't that much. Thank you, dude. An Eames chair is 10 times that. Thank you, dude. You get it. 400 is actually, it's really not that much. You pay 350 for Herman Miller? Yeah. In New York, you can get a used Herman Miller or steel case for 350 to 400. Well, I should have done that, but I live in LA. Herman Miller and body. Let the grind begin. No, it's not gonna take me long. I'm already here, dude. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the souls and like. Oh, use your soul items. Yes, that would. Eric, that was a good idea. I already warped. Have to level up Munch's internet. I need to level up my internet. I fucking hate my internet. Isn't it weird that when you're in your 30s and 40s, you still feel like a kid, kind of? Yeah, I still feel very young. I don't feel old. Bro, I have a lawn chair at my desk. Bro, that's, that's crazy. Zach, I'll pay 400 for you to replace it with a dentist chair. Nope. I'll donate 250 to movie and cover shipping separately. Still want you and your wife's signatures. Winter Haven, deal. You're, you're the guy. Yes. Uh, if you're serious... Let me know, and you you got it. Sarah will sign it. I will sign it. If you want, I'll get Trevor and Sam to sign it. But yes, that would cost like two thousand minimum. Yeah, I'm not buying a dentist chair, dude. I think we all vastly misunderstood what being an adult would feel like. Yeah, I thought that being an adult, I would like. Yeah, I thought I would just have a different mind. I have the same mind. It's kind of good though. I'm kind of glad. I bid 251 for a said chair and signatures. Did Green Net? You did? Okay, all right. Well, then you're the front runner, dude. I, maybe I didn't see it. Green Nasty Noodles. Green Nasty Noodles is, is up a dollar. Zach should retitle the stream to No Death Swindle Scam, Scam Run. What are you most ashamed of? Oh my God, what a question. That's so funny. Uh, what's your darkest secret? Tell us. Why won't you tell us? Just just do it already. Tell me the secret. Yeah, I'm liking the two-handed. Not gonna lie. Sodomy? What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is being old and having regret. That's my biggest fear. I should list it on eBay. That's probably the smartest way to do this. Uh, yeah. Obviously, is Miss March. What does that mean? Zach seems super fake that he won't answer his biggest regret. I seem fake? Okay, dude. <laughs> Sometimes people in chat say some fucking idiotic shit. Zach seems super fake that he won't answer his biggest regret. Thank you. Just wanted to put that out there. Thanks, guys. Okay. Where's those dark dudes? Okay, they're wrecking shit over there. Um, I need six G's to get denial going because I have to be able to use the talisman. 
Hang on, let me refresh. God forbid I miss somebody else saying something dumb about me. What are you guys, what, what's being said now? Tell me the worst shit in your life or I hate you. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Unsilent Storms, DS3 invasions are always laggy AF. Yeah, it's not Ron Gina's fault, dude. Also, I have a horrible internet connection and I'm hosting, so odds are it's a it's a Spectrum Zach Kreger issue, not a not a Ron Gina issue. Did you guys speak with guys about releasing the story of the infamous fight? No, I did not. I could tell listen. I will. I can I can tell when the timing is not right. The timing is not right. Believe me. I'm on your team. I want to tell that story. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna go wade into it when the odds are that it's not gonna get success and then totally burn the chance of it ever being told. So I'm, I'm waiting, I'm biding my time. Would you play Skyrim? No. Um, anyone here like Watch Dogs? Probably not. You know what game I fucking hate? Assassin's Creed, hate those games. Is it the story from Pete's podcast? Oh shit, dude. Oh, fuck. Um, moving on. Have you ever played World of Warcraft? Yeah, I did. I quit years and years ago. Assassin's Creed is boring as fuck. Assassin's Creed sucks so bad. Oh, yeah. I don't want to... This guy's going to come at me. Come at me, dude. Come on. I don't want to double fight these guys. I think I died doing this once. Uh, wow. A life sucker. Do an Assassin's Creed... Assassin's Creed is bad, dude. It's. I've never... I don't think I've ever finished an Assassin's Creed game. I think I've quit every single one. They're so like they're they're too busy. Like they're and and I always I always have a moment when I'm playing Assassin's Creed where I think like I like it. This is the Assassin's Creed game that I like. And then I I always like it just fades and by the by like a halfway point I'm just like oh, this just feels like a chore. You know what I mean? You should check out Blasphemous. Yeah, I would like to. I don't think that's available for PlayStation. Right? I played Black Flag, dude. Would you play Witcher 3? Not on stream, but sure. I, I, I played Witcher 3. I liked it. Uh, wait, Ronjina, what are you saying it is? Fuck, I missed your previous thing. It is, or check out Blasphemous. Oh, it is available for me? Let's take a look real fast. Let's just check. Fuck it. I'll check later. I believe you. Uh, all right, this guy is not a problem. This guy is no issue for me. Sodomy. Going to play Cyberpunk? Yes, and I will stream Cyberpunk for sure. But honestly, before I... I just want to play Demon Souls, man. I'm just so excited for that Demon Souls remaster. I don't know how I'm going to play it. I can't seem to get a PS5 pre-order anywhere. If anyone knows where to get a PS5, please let me know. I will fucking be so indebted to you. Um, that game is incredibly good and a great challenge. Blasphemous. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Wait a minute. I, I gotta be honest. I think maybe I played Blasphemous already. Someone's calling me from Florida. No thanks. Unless this might be the this might be the Twitch guy. Hang on a second. Hello. Is this an no, it's an urgent message from some bullshit person. Um. Yeah, the Twitch guy has my number. He's going to call me today or tomorrow. What are you thinking about that P.O. box idea? Are you afraid of, se of us sending weird shit? No, I'll give out my address for my uh, business manager. So if somebody sends me rice and uh, my business manager will die. And then my business manager can forward it to me. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm searching for Hades. Um, I'll give it out to you right now, dude, if you want to know it. It's f I'll, I'll, write it I'll write it in the chat. So if you want to send me something, send it to 4208 Overland Ave. Culver City, California, 90230. There it is right there. That's where you can send Whitest Kids stuff. Um, Hades. Dude, I don't see Hades. What are you guys talking about? Blasphemous. I'm so fucking old. My brain is just garbage now. <laughs> Hades. Oh, I did play this. I played Blasphemous. It was fun. I, I got to be honest. I think I like... Dead Cells more. Um, but I, I remember liking Blasphemous. It was good. I love those kinds of games. Check out Carrion. I want Carrion, but it's for Xbox. And my Xbox is in the living room and I never play it. 
But Carry On does look fucking good, dude. I want that game. Why no to Watch Dogs? I feel like Watch Dogs is the same as Assassin's Creed. Hollow Knight. I, I like Hollow Knight, but I was like, I found it to be such a fucking chore to, to navigate the map in Hollow Knight. I was just like, I, it's, it, this game is annoying. I think it compares to Hollow Knight more, but I like Hollow Knight more than Blasphemous. I like Hollow Knight more than Blasphemous, but I think I like Dead Cells more than Hollow Knight. Uh, instead of games, you should watch Wild Hogs. <laughs> Salt and Sanctuary is great. Dong, I played that, and that was a, that was good. I, I did really, really enjoy that. Um, so, yeah. Xbox Game Pass on PC is 10 a month. Yep. I don't have a PC, but yep. That'd be cool. Do a Miss March stream. I'd rather slam my testicles in the door. Um, so, I'm sorry to say it, but that'll not, that's not going to happen. Nothing brings in the views like Tim Allen. Okay. Play Lego Star Wars? No. No. All right. What's up here? What am I doing? Um, how many souls do I have? 12? I think I have enough. So let me go get my denial correct. I feel like Zach would slam his testicles in the door at the expense of him. What, dude, Ralph Wiggum, do you know what at the expense means? I feel like you use that phrase all the time, and I never understand you. Is your manager in L.A.? It'd be, I'd be cheaper to just drive them down instead of shipping. Yeah, Culver City is in L.A. Um, the address says it is attached to a place called Woman Wealth Management. Yes, that's it. That's my business manager. Um, have you ever played Rainbow Six Siege? No, I'm interested. Never played it. Keep using this word. I do not, yeah. I, I, I do not think it means what you think it means. Uh, I make, oh, you're joking about that guy. Okay, so you're not the guy that's been doing it. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't know it was Culver City. Yeah. You should try out the Man of Medan. It's a horror game. I love horror games. Anybody got a peanut? Uh, I have to go to work, Mr. Zach. Refuck may watch some more when he takes his scheduled dump at 8.15. All right, refuck you later. Later, dude. Uh, yeah, Woman Wealth Manager is about to get a box full of dildos. Yeah, well, hey, it is what it is, man. I will teach you Rainbow Six Siege. I play every console on PC. Okay. All right, hang on. Let me do this. How do you feel about loot RPGs like Diablo 3 and Path of Exile? I played Diablo 3, and I was like, this is cool, but I didn't get into it. Um, I don't love loot games like Neo. Is, it, the loot turns me off. You know what I mean? Watch dogs like Assassin's Creed. Disgusting. Uh, what if I send you a sheet of acid? I would. I would be. I would be cool with that. I'm sober, but I do actually have like a weird thing where I feel like psychedelics are, are um, something I have not closed the door on. So maybe. Have you tried Darkest Dungeon? Yes, and I, I played it for an hour, and I was like, I don't understand this game, I, and I quit. How much to eat a 10-strip on stream? That, that's not going to happen. Uh, are you excited for Elden Ring? Yes, I am. Um, they're barely even drugs. Okay, so. Fair and keep perimeter. I think I'm ready for this, right? I watched Miss March for the first time last night. It was rough, <laughs> but I love you guys, so it's still fun to watch. Uh, I apologize. If you want me to reimburse you, let me know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sober, but I'll take your acid. You'd be surprised how many sober people are open to acid. I haven't done acid or shrooms since I've been sober, but I'm not saying I'll never do it again in my life. Uh, don't encourage people to send you illegal stuff through the post office. Yeah, don't, don't send me illegal stuff through the post office. I was joking. Uh, weed? Nope, no weed for me, dude. Don't offer reimbursement, you'll go into debt, I know. Watch the Sam audition, it's the best part of Miss March, I agree. Okay, I think it is time for me to try and take on these Abyss Watchers. Oh, wait. Alright, let's go. Nice. Okay. Denial. Dude. Necessary for a no death run. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and fight. Remember one of these guys killed one of these guys ended in a previous no death run, which is fucking embarrassing. Cause look, these guys are no like they're not cake, but they're not like these are not like a serious 
Okay, watch this happen again. I'll be really upset. Like, I don't usually die to these guys. You know what I mean? Oh, man. That guy, like, that guy did more damage than I should have ever let him get away with. Cracked red eye orb. What does the cracked red eye orb do? Will someone tell me? Does that, like, banish people? Does that... That's how I invade other people? You know what? I've never invaded... Um, invades other players. Yeah, I'm not into that. I don't do that. Sometimes I'll be part of the um, part of the guild that like invades people, like in the upper in Orlando. I'll do that for a little while, which is fun, but it's not it's not why I play this game. Some people only play Dark Souls just for PvP. I'm not one of those people. Those people are probably more like hardcore, true Dark Souls kinds of folks. I just like to do the campaign. Ugh. Can I do the thing on his red shield? Yeah. Look at that. I wrecked you, dude. Uh, you invade with him. Blah, blah, blah. Those are the same people that stand on the beams in Fall Guys. I don't know what that means. I don't play Fall Guys. Shitty PvP. When you're completely maxed out and there's nothing else to do. Right. Zach, play Mugen with fans. Don't know what that is. If they lose, they donate. I don't like that idea. Civil War on Drugs stream. Yeah, maybe we'll do that when we release Civil War on Drugs. Uh, Red Shield has no weight. It's good for slot one. Oh, that's cool. Do you like All Gas, No Breaks? I do, but sometimes it stresses me out. I was watching his Proud Boys episode, and I was just like, oh, I can't, I can't watch this. Yeah. It, it, it was funny. It was fucking scary, dude. I thought it was terrifying. Uh, all right, all right. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna take on this boss. I think I'm gonna do this. Ronjina, I wish you were here. I wish I could do this with you, my friend. Um, invade someone, but have Trevor on the mic apologizing for it the whole time. I don't think Trevor would be into that. Wait, where's the NPC that I can... Oh, good, here he is. I'm gonna do this. Come on, buddy. Let's go, homie. I need you. Oh, you know what else I should do? Dr oh, I don't... I can't use this. Fuck, I don't have the strength. That's no... That's no fun. Ugh, I don't like seeing that. Um, isn't there another one over here? By my sword. Ugh, I'm a little stressed about this. I'm a little nervous that I could die in this boss fight. Uh, hang on, guys. Refreshing chat. I can't see anything you're saying. Summons. I can do NPC summons. I like the idea of you answering chats without reading them out so nobody knows who you're replying to. I do that a lot. Use Phantom Gothard. Isn't I? Yeah, I am. Uh, bring me Peter Pan. I was just thinking about him doing lines from the Space Potato sketch. You have to do more emojis. Well, we're waiting on fucking Twitch to approve. We have all these emojis, and they're frozen. I submitted them like a week ago, more than a week ago. Twitch needs to fucking approve them already. You know what I mean? All right, here I go. Wish me luck, guys. I'm nervous. Uh, it's very possible I'll die right now. I'd say one out of three chance I die. Come on. Come on, bro. Can't see. Ah, my fucking stamina sucks. I need to really boost my stamina. This is not, I don't have nearly enough. Look at this. Jesus, that's bad. That's no good. All right, I gotta just stick with this guy. Come here. Ah, see, this, this is bad. Ooh, yeah, fight him. Okay, let me out of here. Let me heal. Oh god. Oof. Alright, you guys are fighting each other. Why am I why am I even getting into this practice? I think it's this dude, right? Hit him, hit him, got him. Okay. I that my odds just went up considerably. Alright, where you at, dude? Ugh. Oh. 
Yeesh. Hang on. I'm nervous. I'm scared. There it is. Sodomy. Doesn't do hardly any damage, but whatever. It's okay. That's okay. Let's let's blend him, dude. Alright, now he's down to half. That's good. Oh, don't fall into fire. Black hand kind of is useless at this stage. He's 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 not. In fact, it would almost be easier without him right now. Oh, although that was handy. He just fucking helped right there. So may, maybe not. Oh shit. Whew. Heal. Good. All right, we got this in the bag. Come on, dude. There it is. Give him the old blender fuck. Blender fuck is a great term that only the collective souls use. And if you hear anyone saying it, tell me and I, I will I will literally file a lawsuit against them. The old dick twist. Thanks, Raswani. A great emote would be Zach as Ulysses S. Grant. Love when he goes, suck a dick. I agree with you. Thank you. I would like to do that as well. Um, the old glory hall. Uh, thanks, Eric. Thanks, man. Uh, oh, yeah, Grant is kind of my homeless guy voice. They're kind of the same. He made y'all suck his dick. <laughs> I forgot about that joke. That's funny. Zach, you are kicking ass in Dark Souls. Thanks, bud. All right, what am I doing? I should go spend these. You know what I mean? There's no need for me to not level up. Uh, I enjoy Whitey's Kids. Thank you, Joel, Joe CL. Jokel? Jo Jocelyn, whatever, refreshing, uh, let's go to the shrine, it's 12.51, I'm gonna, at one, I'm gonna hit up Pemberton and see if he wants to be raided, I'm here to kick gum and chew ass, I literally watched the homeless Joe skit earlier today, you have range, my dude, well, I am a professional actor, my friend, but I appreciate the compliment. I, I love it. Um, Zach, you're the only widest kid who hadn't aged since the show. Thank you. Not true, but thank you. I want to do it my way. I don't know what that means. Uh, Big Moose, thanks, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Darren, someone says Darren, is in maybe you mean Darren has an age. Darren's holding up quite well. Do you still want that Spindrift sponsor? Yes, more than anything. Seriously, more than anything. Yes. Has Darren always been the hot one? Sadly, I believe so. Uh, okay, let me go level up here. Everyone looks good, except for one person, and you know who I'm talking about. Joking. Uh, did Sam agree to drawing and signing his I'm not finished yet picture? Uh, I don't think he would have a problem with that. I don't, I don't know that he's agreed to it, but I can't imagine that he would disagree. All right, I need way more stamina, guys. I need more everything. I'm like, wait, am I not wearing my covetous serpent ring? Is that what's going on? I am. Why am I sucking? What does this do? Boost miracles? Don't care. All right, I guess I'm ringed up right now. It's fine. Unless, can I get a lightning spear? <sighs> do I have a lightning spear? Okay, what do I need here? 20? Oh, God. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm... I'm somehow so far behind in this in this run through right now. Like I should have I should have more than I do. What can I what am I missing? Darren is kind of a mature daddy now, it's true. Did Sam agree? Okay. I am I am way behind on chat. What's going on? Refresh. About to get super strong. <laughs> I watched the live version of Slow Jerk on YouTube and it was an experience. Was it a good or a bad experience? Gravedigger was underrated, thank you. Now I'm always torn between playing video games and watching Zach stream. Dude, watch me stream, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. I watched In Search of Darkness that you re recommended and is awesome. Thanks, dude. What is In Search of Darkness? What, do you, what, what did I recommend? What are you talking about? Zach, did you talk to John Linden's MAGA shirt on Newsboys? No. Do you mean Johnny Lydon from Sex Pistol? Did he wear a MAGA shirt? Tell me he didn't. I would be sad. Um, what you eating for dinner tonight? I don't know. The horror doc. Oh, In Search of Darkness. Thank you. Yes, dude, it is good, right? I'm glad you like that. I like that a lot. I forgot that's what it was called. Wait, you're telling me Johnny... Hang on, I have to see this. 
John Lydon from Sex Pistols wore a fucking MAGA shirt. Johnny Lydon MAGA. Don't do this to me, man. John Lydon MAGA. I will... I can't... Look at him. Look at this fat fuck with a MAGA shirt on. Is he serious or is he trolling? Primal Screen defended John Lydon after he faced fresh backlash. He wore it two years ago. Not that that makes it any better. I don't know what to say about it. It makes me sad. He's not like one of my heroes, but I do respect John Lydon. But not... Wow, I gotta wrap my head around that. That's fucking... I'm like bummed. Whatever. Right, you know what? Whatever. Found out Sid Vicious is a MAGA dude too. Oh yeah? That's interesting. Um, man. Jonesy's still cool. You know what? I met Steve Jones and he was fucking great. I went on his show, the Jonesy's Jukebox Jury, which is a radio show he does. Uh, we just talked about prison rape for the whole show and he couldn't have been cooler. I fucking love And he gave me a shirt and I lost it. A member of the Sex Pistols gave me a t-shirt and I fucking lost it. Like, what the fuck, Zach? Come on, dude. All right. I don't have a shard. What am I doing? Why am I here? What does it all mean? Misfits is overrated garbage in general. Tiberian, later Misfits is. Early Misfits, like... Eve Alive and, and the, the collection. Anything with Danzig is great. Um, ignore the British. Only way to live. Maybe you're right, dude. All right. Let's go fucking get some... Let's make some money. Tell the message for a reason. Make America gay again. Yeah, okay. Uh, do you like the fall? Sort of. Don't really care about him. What's the meaning of life, Zach? Short answer, to find ecstasy in the current moment. There you go. How's that? Is that a good, is that a good one? I'm British, Zach. I'm British. Okay, cool, man. I, I'm listening to you. You're cool. Um, Zach, have you ever seen House? No, and it is, it is something I'm embarrassed of, and I, I, should, I should rectify that. What's your opinion about Nine Inch Nails? I'm going to be honest. I love a lot of Nine Inch Nails. Some Nine Inch Nails I think is really cringy and lame, but I, I totally forgive it because some of it is just so fucking fantastic. I mean, the downward spiral is, is, is genius. And I, and I understand how people think it sucks. Okay, but it is, it is incredible. There's nothing like that before, you know? That thing broke so much ground. Where were you when Tool got on Spotify? Dude, I was on the 405, I was on the phone with somebody, and then I don't fucking know. Dirk the Pizza Jerk is their best album. Um, and I actually think Nine Inch Nails has put out some pretty cool shit in the last couple of years. Like the uh, those EPs that they're making, there's some great songs on those EPs. Like they have a song on, I think it's on the Bad Witch EP called I Am Not Of This Earth or something like that. I Am Not From This Earth or something. I'm getting it wrong. That song is so fucking cool, dude. Do yourself a favor and listen to it. Um, Zach was talking him into it yesterday. I don't know what that means. Are you talking about OnlyFans? Probably. I just got shot with an arrow. Oh, I got to do my denial. I'm slipping. Oh, shit. Something in my eye. Ah! These fucking arrows. Oh, these guys will parry you, and that sucks. You gotta, you gotta be a little careful in those guys. Uh, what else is going on, chat? Let me refresh you. Always want to know what chat's saying. How many people are watching? 342. Respectable. Respectable. You can get the ring. Johnny Cash Hurt was garbage. I agree. I think that Johnny Cash Hurt was like the dumbest thing. Everyone lost their mind about it. Johnny Cash, he's singing Nine Inch Nails. He's cussing. And it's like, dude, the song is stupid. It's so lame. And I, I like some of those Johnny Cash um, sessions with, um, what the fuck was the producer of those sessions? 
very famous producer. Anyway, you know who I'm talking about. Disagree. Okay. Well, we have different we have different tastes, dude. That's okay. It was more for him than us. Well, Rick Rubin. I actually heard that Johnny Cash didn't even want to sing that song. That Rick, Rick Rubin made him. That shit was gold. You're wrong, dude. That shit was fucking dumb. <laughs> Uh, but you know what the Johnny Cash song is from that session? I know. Everyone's going to disagree with me. I don't, I don't mind. You can disagree with me all you want. You know what Johnny Cash I love from the Rick Rubin session? Is the, uh, there's a man going around taking names. That's fucking awesome. That is fucking awesome. And it is used so well in Dawn of the Dead. Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead. That montage built to that song crushes. Crushes. When the man comes around, yeah. It's, it's so good. It's so fucking good. It also reminds me of, here we go, is Rick Rubin that good or is he just that good at making money? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have a strong opinion about Rick Rubin. Um, there are two other movie opening montages that spring to mind that are as good as the Dawn of the Dead. And I wonder if you guys agree with me. The first one is this British movie called This Is England, which is a masterpiece about a young boy being indoctrinated into an anti-racist skinhead gang, which, yes, there are many anti-racist skinheads. Wrap your head around it. Um, and that movie's genius. And the opening credit montage to that is uh, to Toots and the Maytals, 5446 was my number. And, dude, go on YouTube and watch it. The hair on my fucking arm is standing up. It is so incredible. So This Is England opening montage it's on youtube it's great and then the third movie is another Zack snyder movie i think that his um hit the watchmen that bob dylan song at the beginning of the watchmen is fucking great he i just loved that montage big fan oof all right let me take this guy seriously he's not gonna kill me but i just i, I would hate to fucking die to this guy come here um, are you a big Snyder guy? No. In fact, I find Zack Snyder movies to be generally horrible. Like, I hated 300. Um, and I think he blew the ending of Watchmen. Blew it. He, he blew it, dude. That, that movie starts off so good, and it ends so bad. Um, his Superman movies are like, dude, I, I would rather fucking watch, go to church. But what are you going to do? I think Trevor likes this. What else? What did you think of the HBO Watchmen show? Loved it. Yeah, I hate his DC movies too. They're terrible. Uh, I have a soft spot for 300. Well, you know what? If you were like a kid when 300 came out, I would totally understand it. I just thought that movie was like style over substance, majorly. You know what I mean? It was like, okay, so this guy saw Sin City. He thought it was really great. And, um, and doesn't give a fuck about plot. I mean, I get it. He was loyal to the comic. It's just, it's, it's, uh, whatever. Trevor just liked that Clark snapped a dude's neck. I don't know what you're talking about. Refresh. That's most of his movies. Hang on, I can kill you. Watch this. I know I'm going to get shot by an arrow. Dodge. Oh, I already dodged it. Okay. Dodge. Um, I didn't know you guys made an album with audio sketches. I listened to it yesterday, and it's hilarious. Thanks, buddy. Yep, on Spotify or wherever you want, we have a Whitest Kids audio record. It was fun. Oh, and Man of Steel. Gotcha. Your chat issue has to be a firewall or router setting. You're totally right, Schism. And if anybody knows how to, how to help me fix it, dude, please help me. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. But it ha it's not a computer thing because it happens on my iPad, too. So it's not a RAM issue. It's a fucking firewall router issue, and I, I don't know how to fix it, and I fucking hate it. Sing the driving the bus song? No. Uh, I like the scene in 300 where the guy yells, This is 300 the movie! And he kicks that guy. That's so cool. This is 300 the movie! I could die here. Hang on. I'm not trying to die here. Ooh, okay. I, I just don't want to fall off, you know what I mean? That would be such a drag at this point. Um, does it say Apple product chat issue? Looking it up. 
Apple product chat issue. Dude, tell me. Tell me. Someone help me, man. I can't stand it, dude. It's the worst. Like, I literally every, like every 15 seconds I have to refresh. How am I the only person that has this problem? Okay. Last time I did this, I dropped down that pit. I'm not going to repeat that mistake. Come on. Come on, little skeletons. Come on, buddy. Come on, bud. Oh, fuck. Okay, I've done this poorly. Ugh, okay, I've, I've, I've not done this right. Oh, boy. This sucks. All right. I gotta, first thing, i got to just round the corner. i got to protect myself. It's a no-death run. I've got to stop taking fucking risks. i got to heal... Oh, this is bad. All right, this is the problem. You're the problem, dude. And now these guys are gonna come back. All right, now you're gonna come back. Okay, I think if I had a blessed weapon, they would die the first time, but I'm not sure. I, I don't, you think it's because it's a mech? Maybe. Bro, do you even fuck? What, what are you talking about? Favorite Kodiak Black song. Kodak Black song, sorry. Have you tried using VPN and seeing if that fish fixes the issue? I don't know I don't know what that is. Have you checked to see if you're getting a dynamic IP from your router? I don't know how to do that. I don't see you guys. Boomer. Boomer. Uh Azathothian, thank you. How cool is it, right? It's so cool. I thank you for watching it. It is the best. Zach, do you like Brian Eno? I fucking worship at the altar of Brian Eno. I love Brian Eno. Yes. You should use NordVPN to play Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, you're trolling me. I'm smart enough to know that. Thank you. Um, I was born in 83. All right. Zach, have you tried routing? I, I'm assuming, by the way, Ryan Fist of the... I get... I, first of his name, you're talking about my 300 comment. Gotcha. Have you tried rerouting your Linux firewall configuration host file? Dude, you are grossly overestimating my l computer literacy. Um, you ever play The Darkness starring Mike Patton? Yes, I did, because it starred Mike Patton, and I didn't like it. Not that Mike Patton did anything wrong, I just thought that game was bad. Uh, refresh chat. Fuck. Oh, I hate these things. Mr. Bungle fan, gigantic Mr. Bungle fan. California is like one of my top three favorite records of all time. Love it. I love that shit. Uh, you know what? Helmet fan? No, not so much. Saw him live, didn't care for him. No, I'm thinking of shellac. Saw shellac live, didn't care about it. No resin, no resin, no resin. Why is everyone saying no resin? What is happening? What does this, what is happening? No resin. What the fuck are you guys saying to me? No, no resin. What does this mean? Are you fucking with me? Oh, I got, I got, I didn't get. Dan Giesling raid. Oh, Dan sent everyone to raid me. Okay, what's up, you fucking, what's up, Gieslers? How are you? I appreciate it. So why is Dan telling everyone to say no <laughs> resin to me? This is hilarious. Hey, Dan, thank you, man. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. I don't know what no resin means. Oh, I can't use resin on my weapons? You guys are fucking, you're funny. I'll try not to swear because all these Dan Giesling fans are here. Um, and I really love Dan. And I'm really glad that you just raided me. It makes me happy. Uh, what do we got here? Hang on. No resin, that's really funny. I thought my chat had just lost their minds. <laughs> that's amazing. How many people did he send? You know what? Another problem is my stream doesn't really show me an accurate number of how many people are in chat. I see 358. Uh, oh, I'm over 1,000? My chat says 358. What's up? Thanks, everyone, for being here. I'm glad you guys came. Please tell Dan uh, to pass, you know, that I'm passing on. Or what am I saying? Pass on yeah, my sincerest thanks. And uh, I'm doing a no-death run if you just got here on Dark Souls. I've never done it before. I'm not great at this game. I'd say I'm competent. This is also an offline no death run, so I can't accept help from chat. I can't run with people, but I also won't be getting invaded. So I'd say it's kind of worth it. Why didn't those flaming arrows hit that guy? Uh, so what's up, dudes? Boomer alert. Yeah, uh, a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a big boomer, apparently. Uh, I I'm, I'm I'm, know nothing about computers. 
and uh, chat has to like carry me through all technical aspects of everything. So thank you for hanging. Um, yeah, 975. I'm losing people fast. I'm walking the room. You saw Mr. Bungle in LA February? I had tickets to that show and I missed it. And it's a really sore subject and I don't want to talk about it. Here, watch me wreck this dude. Boom, boom. You're dead to me. You're dead to me! Destroyed! Um, somebody tell Dan I said thanks. Pretty sure Zach is Gen X. I know. I know I'm not a real boomer, but I... Oh, hang on now. But I feel like in terms of Twitch, I am a billion years old. I know nothing about how any of this stuff works. Don't get shot by those arrows. Phew. Uh, are you the real Zach Morris? Yes, I am. It's nice to meet you. Welcome. Step in. Hang out. Get comfortable. Um, Dan Giesling gifted some subs. He did. Dan, thanks, buddy. Look at this guy. What a mensch. What a, what a good dude. Dan Giesling, by the way, is a delight. He's, he really is one of my favorite people. Uh, and I love that we're friends. It's pretty cool. Hang on. Refresh chat. I hope a mod in here is taking care of slow mode. Thank you. I think somebody is. Uh, what else, dudes? Isn't he, though? He really is. He really is. I, I, I actually, I really do love him. I do. So many viewers. What do we got? Oh, we got 922. Buddy, on a weekday, 922. This is big for me, guys. You guys are making this little, this little streamer's dream come true. So thank you. Zach, should we ban the non dollickers for life? No, we shouldn't. They should be allowed. Let them walk among us. Let them learn of our ways. Who rated? Dan Giesling. Glad to be here. Glad to have you. Zach's nuts are quaking. I don't know what that means. Um, would you stream with Mr. Gies? I sure would. I sure, I sure would. Hang on. Question, should I be going back and leveling up or should I proceed through the hellscape? I should proceed through the hellscape. Never know death it before. Me neither. Never know death. Zach, tell them about the Whitest Kids stream schedule. So, okay, if you're here and you don't know what I'm doing, I'm a member of a sketch group called The Whitest Kids You Know. We had a television show on IFC. Went for five seasons. Kind of a big deal. A little bit of a big deal. Um, but we stream. My buddy Trevor and I talk about the news every Friday night at uh, 7 Pacific time. And then on Saturdays at 7, the whole sketch group gets on and we just talk to chat watch videos we laugh and have fun it's it's a good time uh but civil war on drugs hopefully soon dude that's a movie we made and uh we are trying to figure out how to release it for streamers uh so can you guys do the commentary on the season where the audio is bad what season is that give us a woo 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 woo, woo. that's all i'm giving you dude uh hang on let me fight this guy let me respect this opponent. What's up, dude? Ooh. Yo, is he gonna bleed damage me? I'm trying to get... Hang on, let me get my little... Oh, dude. If I die right now when I get raided and all these people are watching, I'm gonna blame Dan. But I don't I don't think I will, but it, could, it definitely can happen. Two, three, four. Oh, dude, he's like one away. Here it is. There it is. Uh, Sam streams when the mood strikes him. Yeah, he's an, he's an unpredictable... He's like a wild animal. You never know when he's going to get on Twitch. You know what I mean? Um, that's Sam Brown. He's crazy. Trump just tweeted, Don't be afraid of COVID. Tell me you're joking. Tell me that the President of the United States did not just do that. Tell everyone about the d, &D. Hey, if you like comedy and you like knuckleheads playing Dungeons and Dragons for the first time and not taking the game serious, but just having a blast. Go to YouTube, go to the white official WKUK, and we have a Dungeons and Dragons campaign that people have really connected to. It's called Buckerson and Myers. You know, it's a name that just kind of rolls off the tongue, Buckerson and Myers, uh, which if you watch it, you will kind of get why it's called that in the first episode. Uh, and it's the five of us just really causing chaos in a D&D world, and it's pretty funny if I if I can up myself and say it. I like it. Uh, people seem to really dig it. Man, it's weird for me to be, like, doing an ad for, for Whitey's Kids, but I feel like I, I, I kind of owe it to all these new people that just don't know what 
what we're about. Okay, I'm actually in a very dangerous situation right now. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I have, I have really made a mistake. I'm glad I have denial, but I actually think I'm gonna die. So I need to hightail it away from them. Let's just be cowardly for a moment. There's no shame in a no death run to running away. Because the only thing I'm trying to do is get through this game without dying. And that was, that was like way too close for comfort. Holy moly. Hang on. Are you guys trolling me about that Trump tweet? Tell me, tell me that, that you guys are trolling me. I, I, I just, I think my brain would explode if that was the case. Run, she's behind you. I don't think they are behind me. I think, I, I think I'm safe. Oh, Jesus. You're dead! You're dead at my blade! Uh, it's only a partial quote? Give me a break. It was verbatim? He's high on steroids. Nope, it be real. Are you kidding me? I do, I need way more endurance. I need to beat that. Do you have the right to the fuse seasons? Yes, but we're missing a lot of those files, which is why we have it. Don't be afraid of COVID. Don't let it dominate your life. Nothing that radical. Don't let it dominate your life. We have developed under the Trump administration some really great drugs and knowledge. Feel better than I did 20 years ago. I don't even know what to say about it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rant. I'm not gonna rant while Dan's people are in here. If it was just, if it was just my people, I'd probably go on some sort of a tear. All right, let's see if I can kill this guy with the bridge like I did before. Come here, homie. I'm gonna get invaded by an NPC. And I'm gonna use a dirty trick that any one of you at home can use. You're welcome to use this. There, oh, shit. Okay, this actually is bad. Oh, I'm trapped in the wall here? There we go. Phew. All right, here's a little dirty trick. I'll take this, I'll take this. I never use those, but I'll take it. You gotta bait that guy onto the bridge, then you drop him to his death. Thanks to this administration, we all need, well, we all need a lot of great new drugs. And don't survive. Okay, he did. So I now I, I actually am in like real trouble. Because this guy's hard as it is, and he's especially hard in this environment. Like I'm not fighting him in, a, in an optimal, optimal place, but I think I have one more dirty trick. If I can get him to fall, he will die. Yep. There. Oh, he survived, dude. This is this is dangerous. Okay, you know what? I'm going to bail. Let's see if I can get to the next bonfire. Uh, I'm in real trouble. I am definitely in real trouble. In fact, I won't be able to even use the bonfire because I'm invaded. So I have... I have a real... I'm in a very dangerous spot. Um, yeah. Bonfire lit. Okay. Jeez. Jeez Louise. How far can he chase me? I guess as far as he wants to. Am I gonna die now? Is this how it ends? Is this how this, everyone who just joined? I think you're gonna watch the end of something beautiful. I think, I think that your boy Zach has bit off more than he can chew. Unless I can somehow, could I kill him with the crossbow? Ugh, I'm in, I'm in so much trouble. It's, okay, come on dude. If, if I can get him to like chase me out and get tagged by the bolts, that would be cool, but I don't think they're gonna aim at him. I think they're just gonna aim at me. So I think I'm... You know what I can do? If I need to... Oh, is he leaving? I could just rush into the boss. Because I actually think it would be easier for me to beat this like demon up here than it would be for me to beat that NPC invader. So I've got decisions to make. First, I'm gonna try the bonfire. I suspect it won't let me rest. Jeez, this crossbow is so, so annoying. Um, yeah, I think, I think I have a good plan. I think I have a good plan. Favorite Limp Biscuit song? Okay, um, I can't think of a Limp Biscuit song that doesn't sound like being punched in the face. Zach, stop giving us anxiety. It's cool, dude. I beat. I think I'm. I think I'm safe. Um, meet. So Zach, meet. Meet all us doll lickers down by the docks later for that rant. You got it, dude. Limp biscuit better than Nickelback. Is that true? I don't know that that's true. Um, 
How about I break your fucking face, Zach, huh? Okay. Let's do it. Let's meet and you can break my face. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Heard of idea and the abilities? No. Rest, idiot. Hey, guess what, idiot? I'm invaded. I can't rest. Dr. Chubb Butt Mud. Your name is Dr. Dr. Hug Butt Mud, and you're calling me... Look at this. Can't rest. Now who's an idiot? Patiently waiting for Zach to throw another bomb. That's funny. Imagine Dragons is the Nickelback of the 2010s. You're probably right. I am invaded by an NPC. Uh, you can get invaded offline by NPCs. And I did this to myself. I hit the bridge too late, so he crossed the bridge. Home bone? Nope, can't do a home bone. Face your bully. I mean, I guess that's the only answer. So I'm going to have to either fight him or fight the demon. And I only have one Estus thing. So I'm going to summon this guy. Jeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I think, yeah, I think I like Dark Souls 3 more as a game. I think it's just a better game. I'm probably better at Dark Souls 2, but I just like Dark Souls 3 more. I think it's cooler. Yeah. So what's your streaming setup? Because I know, like, it's not in your wheelhouse to have... Dude, I have have been learning, like, so much. I just started this month, you know? So it's like, I got, and I'm using a Mac, so it's been really hard. Um, You're streaming from a Mac? Yeah, can you believe it? No, it's pretty impressive <laughs> that you pulled this off. And then, are you using your console? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. do you know? Do you know any leads on how to get a PS5? Are you doing any pre-orders? Or are you just staying PC? Um, You're not even getting it. No, I've tried like every time, and I keep whiffing because Demon Souls. That's yeah. the only reason I care about. Oh my PS5. god! Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I need it because I need Demon Souls. I'm so excited for that game, but I, I, I worry I won't be able to get it, dude. The, I mean, I'm worried. And like when it on launch day, there's you're not gonna. I go back to PS4. It was like you couldn't get one on launch day. So like if if we don't get one pre-order, it's just not gonna happen. Uh, how long do you think we're gonna have to wait? Assuming we don't get one by launch day, like months? I I I can't wait months. I'll I'll get a gun and I'll go rob somebody. I I can't do it. I probably think mid December would be my guess. Ugh, that's brutal. I know. So. All right. But, yeah, I'd love to. Thanks, dude, for the raid. I appreciate it. Of course, man. All right, buddy. Later, man. What a good guy. That's a good dude right there. Um, use your widest kids' money and pay $1,000 on eBay for one. Didn't we cover that I made no money from widest kids? Because if we haven't, you watched, watched the stream yesterday where I broke down. <laughs> it's ridiculous how everyone thinks that, like, just, whatever. I'm not going to get into it. Uh, how do you know Dan Giesling? Okay, so Dan and I met. Okay, so I was on a television show uh, called Guys with Kids. It was on NBC, and my co stars were Anthony Anderson and some other people, and Jamie Lynn Siegler, who you probably know from Sopranos. She played Meadow Soprano. So in this show, she was my wife. And Jamie was the world's biggest Big Brother fan. And I wasn't a, I didn't know Big Brother at that time. She got me into it. I started watching uh, Big Brother. And I watched season 10, Dan's season. And we would, I would go to work and I'd be like, Dan Giesling is like, he's my hero, dude. He's like the greatest. And so Jamie organized this Big Brother game in LA. And it was, uh, it was at Lance Bass's house. And it was for three days. So me and my now wife and Jamie and a bunch of other people, we went and we stayed. There were like 15 of us. And uh, thanks to Pressy and Pressy, I appreciate you. So we played this game of Big Brother over three days at Lance's house where it was like this game called Reality Rush. They put it, they put it up. Lance Bass, okay, Tiberian, I'm actually thinking of legit banning you for that. Um, so they put it up. So you play a week's worth of game in like three hours. So we were all like, and Dan, um, I guess Jamie tweeted that we were going to do this game. And Dan saw her tweet and he tweeted, can I come play? And she was like, yes. So Dan and his wife, Chelsea, came and played with us at Lance's house. So I met Dan. I was like starstruck by Dan. So we became friends over that weekend. Uh, and my wife ended up winning the whole game. I actually outlasted Dan, so I, I guess you could say I'm better than the best player to ever play Big Brother. Oh my God, that's amazing to me. Um, and then Dan and Chelsea and my wife Sarah, the four of us, became really, really close. And we ended up, we would go out to their house every Fourth of July. We went on vacations together. Like they're, they came to our wedding. Like they're, they're like, you know, Dan and his wife are like dear, dear friends. So that's how we all met. Uh, and it was super, it was super thrilling to play with him. And, uh, and he's just an awesome dude. He's like one of those guys who like is as cool as he seems on TV. He's great. So that's, that's my story. Uh, all right. So I'm back to square one, man. That sucks. You know what I should have done is I should have just like been, you know, you know why I died? I died because that skeleton pinned me in the hall. If that skeleton hadn't pinned me in the hall, I would have crossed the bridge at the right time. And I would have dropped that invader to his death. It's just this game. It's like one little thing like that can kill you and i guess i should have just like manned up and just fought that dude instead of running from him and i put myself in a stupid situation of fighting that fire boss with one estus flask but actually at that point there was no there was no there was no winning for me i was done i, I had i had worked myself slowly into an unwinnable predicament um 
Today I learned Dan Giesling was on Big Brother. Give me a break, dude. Tell me that's not true. Uh, for future reference, Ember still heals you even if you were Ember. Dude, how do I not know that? Is that true? Dude, how do I not know that? Okay. I will bear that in mind. That's ridiculous. Ugh, oh, I'm so frustrated. It's okay. This is a hard thing I'm doing. I'm not a pro gamer. I'm a comedian. You know, this is not my this is not my main thing. So I'm 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 proud that I got that far. You know what I mean? Let's go. I'm going to I'm going to beat this game without dying. When is the release date for PS5 at this point? I don't know. November 12th? Ronjina? Yeah, November 12th. All right. This guy, it's not too hard. Oof, except when he does that. You know what? I'm shielding this guy. I I'm just going to stick to what I know. I'm not, I'm not going to two-hand him. Die, die, die! Oh, he punched me in the... Ooh. This guy's a little mean. He's being a little mean. That's okay. I can also be a little bit mean. You know what? I think I'm going to actually wrap this up a little bit soonish. And I'm going to raid Pemberton. So if you guys... I should call him and make sure he's on. But I think he just texted me. So I think that's going to happen soon. Let me check. I don't mind missing out on a PS5. I'll play Cyberpunk. Dude, you know what? You're right. That's a good point. Like, I'm so excited for Cyberpunk 2077. 20, is that right? 2077? That that will stave me off for a month. And I'll be sad to miss Demon Souls. But I, I, you know, if I have to wait a month, I'll wait a month. Um... Hang on, let's see what Johnny says. I'm watching you Dark Soul it right now. Probably start around 1.30. It's 1.30 now. Uh, but I'm going to hang out and do a little bit more chatting with chat. What else is going on, people? I'm not quite ready to get off. I saw that Bungle is doing a virtual live concert on Halloween. Professional Marth, thank you for telling me that. I am so there, dude. So did Chair sell? Yeah, what's the deal? What's up with Chair? Did we sell Chair? Pop and Floss, I believe Demon Souls 5 is, or Demon Souls is just PS5. I'm not positive. Do you have a story with Courtney Love at a bar playing Truth or Dare? No, that's Jonah Ray tells that story. It's a great story. It's probably on YouTube. Watch it. Hey, Zach, that seemed like it was a really cool time meeting Dan, but do you think Captain Crunch cuts the roof of your mouth? Yes, I do. That's why you got to let the milk soak it for about two minutes before you start. That chair belongs in a museum. It does come to PC? Interesting. Have you read any comedy comedian related books you'd recommend? Norm MacDonald's book is phenomenal. I recommend it. Uh, Ralph Wiggum, thank you, buddy. Post on eBay so we can bid. Okay, I will. That's a good idea. I'll put the chair on eBay. You guys can bid. That's the way to do it. Zach, are you down with the clown? I think that's a juggalo reference. I did see ICP in concert last year as a joke. And it was ridiculous, and I'm glad I went. I couldn't believe what I what I witnessed at that concert. Um, make sure you guys talk about the Battle Wound sketch soon. It's one of Timmy's best. Good deal. I will put it on the list. Um, hang on, refresh chat. Uh, are you guys down to raid Pemberton? I think I think it's a good move. Hey Zach, big fan. Started doing improv late last year, early this year. Any tips? Get as much stage time as you can, dude. You're gonna you're gonna be great. What are your hopes and dreams? Um, that I get a PlayStation 5 and I can get Dark Souls. Sick in the Head by Judd Apatow is a great comedy book. I heard that. I love you too, Captain Random. Are you excited about Borat 2? I'm not excited, but I'm going to watch it. I'm, I'm not going to miss Borat 2. You know, I'll, I'll check that guy out for sure. Favorite jelly bean flavor? Pink. You know, whatever the hell that is. Do you listen to Earthless? No. Haven't seen them live? No. No. Um, Bill and Ted 3 yet? Nope, not yet. I need to make my wife watch Bill and Ted 2 so that we can watch Bill and Ted 3 together. Um, oh, Borat is on Prime? Borat 2 is on Prime? Dude, that's awesome. I didn't know that. All right, guys. Thank you all. Let's do a little rating here. What's Johnny's, what's Johnny's name, by the way? Let me do a little search here. Uh, raid channel Johnny Pemberton 
doesn't bring anything up. What's his channel called? Can someone tell me Pemberton's channel? Oh my God, I don't know what it's called. I have to pee too. That's also part of the reason that I'm wrapping this up. It's because I'm like about to pee my pants. Um, Raid Shadow Legends. I, I can't fall for that again, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, uh, if you are... It's called Just My Six. Just My Nipples is Johnny. Is that true? At Just My Nipples? Don't, don't mess with me. If you're here from Dan and you like it, please follow. Please sub. It helps us a ton. We're raising... This Twitch is, by the way, raising money for a movie. Uh, so if, you, you know, if you're curious about us, check out our YouTube, Official WKUK. Thanks for all the dollickers. Uh, at Just My Nipples. Got it. Let's do Just My Nipples. And uh, I'll be back on every day this week doing uh, this so 11 o'clock tomorrow i'll see you guys there thanks everybody love you doll -likers. peace out enjoy johnny let's go raid begins now sweet Oh, am I still doing it? Oh, I don't mean to have an awkward silence. I thought I was already off. I thought I'd rated everyone. Sorry, dudes. Let me end my stream. <laughs>